how is it yeah, actually? Man, so yeah. I can't be happy to be here. No, you know what I'm saying? No, that? we're all happy to be here. I'm happy too, man. Yeah, yeah, so like, what do you mean? mean? You've only been happy for two weeks, Lewis Blood. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm <laughs> enjoying You've been, it. Been, I'm <laughs> you've been miserable since January, Blood. What's going on, people? Troops TV. Back again. Back our blood clock again, you understand? Episode 241 of Back Again. Make sure you like, share, comment and subscribe. You zimmy. Obviously, people ain't used to seeing me this happy after playing them blue wallads. You get me? But, like I said... They did go in a big blood clot spliff. You understand? Obviously, the man them are inside. Lewis, Flawless, Hussam, my brothers. As you can see, Lewis, you are still on the top shelf, my brother. How is life up here, bro? Brother, forget that four goals in a game we we have multiple goal of the month contenders we're moving up in the world obviously it's the good run is over it's now dark times winter has arrived but i feel cautiously optimistic I'm sure we'll delve into it later but yeah great to be back after a w let's go flawless you should be looking happier, blood. You got a win, fam. One to you, blood like. <laughs> Yo, we'll, we'll get you. Would have we'll thought you, held, you would have thought you held three L's, blood. You only held two in a row. Nah, we we won. We won. Of course, I'm happy about it. It's more relief than happiness, but we'll discuss it when it was. But that's how I felt at the time was just pure relief. But yeah, we won. And it's always good to be here as well. But don't get mistaken. Of course, I'm happy. I'm saying I'm just chilled out. That's all. Good stuff, man. Three point collectors and all that. So yeah, man. And the only person on the panel who is not a three-point collector and the reason why he is the last in the in the table. You get me? Not in the actual league table on today's... Yeah, table. let's have that right, right there. Let's have that right. <laughs> My brother, who's some? What are you telling me, bro? Them hey. seagulls took a big shit on your club, blood. Win, lose, or draw, we here. No, 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 easy. It wasn't a big shit because it was a draw. Not a big shit, small shit. It's so a anyway, big shit, uh, blood. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, win, lose, or draw, we're here. Um, I feel happy for Lewis because I can't lie, this guy went through hell for two months. Him personally, not his club because it's always fucked Chelsea, but him personally, you know, I'm glad he can finally smile. He can actually talk about a goal, you know. Um, Multiple thank you for goals. having me. We're here. I'm the only one this week. Without the W, which you guys all predicted I'm going to win. So, yeah, I'm sure we'll get into it anyway. But big up, Troops TV. We're here. Make sure everyone watching is liking. And make sure everyone's watching is subscribing as well. So, big up to you guys, man. Let's start with the main attraction. You get me? 4.30. Oh, cool. Perfect. Chelsea, let's go. Nah, nah, blood. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it does involve a blue team, but it is a, a blue team in the top half, blood. You get me? Emirates Stadium. Oh, Man City came to bottom. town. Yeah, you might still in the bottom half, blood. Man City came to town. The, the big shark. You understand? They came in and they came in with no Rodri. They came in with no De Bruyne. Stones was on the bench. Uh, Bernardo Silva started. Um, I told that bald professor, I dare you to start Rico Lewis or Calvin Phillips in my mid in the midfield. Even Kovacic, I said, I dare you. Their man don't catch W's against me, blood. You understand? Yeah. Lewis knows how many splits we put Kovacic in. You get me? And only a couple. Pep, a lot, blood. And Pep really thought he could come and play Rico fucking Lewis, blood. You understand? He went he went to Harlem and, and resurrected Rico and brought him back to life, blood. You understand? Because he was playing like a trapper. You get me? But just scared. Man City did have the 
better of the first half. You get me? It was a, it was a tame performance from us. You get me? It, it was kind of sussing them out. You understand? We weren't really opening ourselves. Pause because we know if we did that, then they'll probably clean up. But at the same time, we wasn't even like trying to really attack. You get me? The only man really trying to attack was Jesus. You understand? He was the only one trying to cause problems. He was causing problems. Um, uh, Vardio was having a tough time, blood. You get me? Jesus was running him ragged at points. Pause. You understand? And Trossard was very quiet. You understand? Coming back from injury. Um, I think it's going to take him a couple of games to get back up to speed. Um, Eddie Nketiah um, has not been injured. So I'd love to know his excuse for doing this guy, you know. I'd love to know his excuse for doing fuck all yet again, man. He, he was up against, they are very good defensively. That's why none of your attackers excelled. And obviously he is limited as well. So that's what it is. He's limited. You're up against one of the best defences in the league. Hey, he was always going better him. than Haaland today. He was, it was. But again, that's on the flip side. More involved, they, yeah. they, they, I predicted they Haaland would be ghost, you understand? And yeah. that Viking was ghost, you understand? Um, but like I said, the first half, they had the better chances that that Guave, that, that, that Vardio chance that Rice um, gets off the line when Reyes all over the yeah. place, and then um, Alvarez. I thought you were no. talking about the Ake one in that. Same yeah, season. straight after the Ake yeah. one, I think Reyes does well there. I think he does like the Schmeichel thing, and mm, obviously yeah. Saliba Saliba does enough to put him off as well. I think Reyes done well there, but it was the Alvarez one when. Um, he shot him down and he went into the side netting blood. The way my heart dropped out of my chest and hit the floor blood was 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 a sight to behold if if you if you're a op. So you man would have loved it, blood. You get me? But obviously, then you nah, wouldn't have. I would, I, would, I would have loved it. No, no, no. I wanted to stay no no. Yeah, flawless to be honest was probably like and because it's um city flawless probably like shit blood. But this pussy old Lewis was probably there, like rubbing his hands, thinking, Yeah, here we go. Let's go. And they're on to them. That's what I me. thought. The first half looked like it was more city, but they they did they just petered off a bit more towards the second, like they got a bit more pragmatic. And Arsenal were already set out like that. Just Loki thing, Arteta made the right substitutions. But he deserves a lot of credit coming out of that game because he impacted it in a positive way. Yeah, it was that Martinelli, that Martinelli substitution. Changed everything, blood. You get me, car. That first seven, eight minutes of the second half, that's that was that was Arsenal that I've seen over these last couple of years. You get me? We stepped 10 yards up the pitch, we were pressing them, we we're winning the ball high up in there, in 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 in, in their um area of the defensive line. And, and we were breaking through, blood. You understand? Martinelli, we never had a shot on target until Martinelli come on. You get me? He let off one straight away. It was straight at Edison, but at least. Things were happening. He was attacking his defender. He was making things happen. Jesus had someone to work with now. You understand? Because up until that point, he was just there. You get me? And, and he was pushed to the right, blood. So it was even it was even tougher for him. But Declan Rice, blood. You understand? I've been telling the man them about Declan Rice. You get me? I've, I've been praising him before he was even an Arsenal player, blood. And, and it was... Hey, I was blood, you understand? You can go he and was? check the tape, blood. Nah, I remember having a conversation about it, but go on, carry on. He did play against Rico Lewis. Um, who was the others in there? I remember who else was Kovacic, in there? Bernardo Kovacic, Silva. Kovacic, Bernardo Silva. Kovacic, Kovacic, Bernardo Silva. You understand? Foden couldn't do nothing, blood. You get me? Like, Rice, yeah. fantastic performance, blood. Jorginho as well, blood. When I saw him, I was like, oh, shit. Here we go again, blood. You understand? But... Jorginho, he he done a he done a great job, but especially after getting that yellow card so early when he pulled down a, forward. He's a functioning midfielder, that's why it's not a surprise mm -hmm. that he 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 has the ability to put in that type of performance. Is he the greatest? No, but like I said, because he's a he's a smart, intelligent midfielder, and then you have him next to Rice, you're just gonna look organized, which you did. And then because City didn't pose much of a threat going forward, it's like it was one goes far to say it was comfortable for him, but he was competent. But no, but he's like, part of the reason why they didn't cause threat. Yeah, no, that's it. I'm giving him credit. Yeah, I think he gets a lot of unfair criticism, to be honest. I thought that at Chelsea. I thought oh, you're, making Arsenal, about you're so shameless. Wallahi, how, you're much, so shameless. How, much, how, much, how am I shameless by so giving you cannot him say him? you're wrong on Rice? Is that I'm it? Wrong. All right, so how am I wrong on Rice in what sense? I thought Rice oh, played so well today. So today, title deciding game. Not deciding yet. 
But what? But title is game. Yeah, yeah. You okay, want to okay, rectify okay, that? Um, relax. Yeah, you need okay. to relax, fam. I took you that back. I took that back. I took it back. I realized there are eight games in Relax. So anyway, right, title cool. title challenging game or whatever, mm-hmm. like two title challengers, right? Mm-hmm. And he performed today. This mm-hmm. flawless today. Yeah. They had one shot on target. City. Yeah. The least shots on target since 2010. Mm-hmm. Do you understand how mad that is? Yeah. So that they fully locked him up. One shot on target. That's crazy. And the thing is, and the thing is, and the thing is, you are. Why do you always think I've got ulterior motive? Rice played very well today. With you, there's always ulterior motive. Yo, with you, you need to stop this shit, yo. There with you, no specifically, there's always ulterior motive. <laughs> there's no ulterior motive. I'm just... Because you got you proven not... wrong on your rice take from the start of the season. No, I didn't get proven wrong. It's one game where he played very well. Because if he played very bad and I was sat here saying, oh, he was good against you lot. Yo, we don't count. We're not good. We're 10th. You know what I'm saying? You count in game, we count in games against Bruno Fernandes. The only game he mean? played, the only game he didn't play good was Tottenham. Hmm. And, and, and arguably, and arguably your t- what second, arguably your second toughest. But I'm not wrong on Rice in regards to. I still don't think he's a hundred million pound player. No, second. I still stand by that. He played very well today. So one game against City, and that equals yeah, he's a hundred million pound player. See, this is what I'm talking about. Social media response. That's what that it's is. not. That I've always, I've always said that he is a hundred. No, million you have. Player. I don't think. I truly don't think he is. And when he goes in a bad run of form, I'm not gonna say nothing about it. When Arsenal fall, no, you're like, hoping he'll is. go in a bad run of form. Yeah, but he you're hoping. Happen. But I don't he to ain't, hope. motherfucker. You, you know why I don't need to hope? Because you ain't going to win the league anyway. So I got nothing to worry about. What am I concerned about? Yeah. What I am promise I you, about? Are you not winning the league? I mean, he, he, he ain't wrong. Him. He ain't wrong. This is what we're saying. If we go in there, Arsenal... If it's I early. Gen- if I genuinely thought Arsenal could I can't, win the league, I can't say we're going to win the league right now. It's too yeah, early. I know. Because, yeah, we know you like... We wouldn't be wrong. We got a better chance than you, though. Of course, who everyone has a better chance. Brentford have a better chance than us. What are we doing? We don't count. Like... <laughs> no, no, Brentford really bad this season. At least say Crystal pick, Palace. Pick, all right, Fulham. pick Newcastle. All right, Newcastle. Then you know what I'm saying. What does West it matter? Ham, you know what I'm saying. What does it matter? Like you, you picked Arsenal last season, Hassan. And how did that turn out? No, no, no. I hear you, but I think this is a different Arsenal and a different city. Uh, okay, all right. because now you need to understand they sold. Two how many games, games has Haaland been goals? Mara's left. Haaland ain't been playing the, the same level. The he's reality still top is, okay. So, uh, all I'm saying is, City ain't winning the league this season. Okay, so City have all those problems. Yeah, but he has scored many... for like three okay. games, four games. Okay. That, that's 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 then true, which is the case. Okay, but let's say what you're saying is true, Hassan. And City are not the same, and they have all these problems. And Arsenal are better. What's the points difference? What's the uh, points difference? Right now it's two or three points. So two, them. three points, and two. this is City who are not at it, and this is Arsenal who are better from last year. So what happens if City become? I'm no, 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 no just overall and say can I explain my statement yeah yeah go on Uh, Arsenal haven't started better than last Mm -hmm. season that's not my point because last season they started crazy Mm -hmm. saying this season overall if I'm looking at the complete picture they're more complete like as a a squad that's what I said yeah and they have more more mature we're more experienced yes we're more experienced okay we're more resilient than anything yeah (laughs) keeps thinking that about all soft like we wouldn't have like like we 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 nullified Man City bro we you nullified did. them. I give you they full did. You they did nothing. Yeah. There was nothing. Every every the opportunities they had was Reyes' mistakes. Blood. Do you understand? Yeah. No. There I, was. I give, they I never give cut through me. us. They no. never had like when they had possession, but it was just sideways, sideways. Oh, it was boring. It was boring as shit. Very, very, very that, that game was. But I give us. Don't get mistaken. I give Arsenal full credit for the game today. I'm not saying Arsenal were bad today. I'm not saying Rice was bad today. Rice was very good. You just think because I gave Jorginho his plaudits that I have some ulterior motives. You always have ulterior motives, though. Don't I lie. don't always, always have ulterior motives. You man. always you, say you, player you, X was good to take away from player Y. That's what, flawless. What, why can't That's they both right play good? <laughs> why can't they both have played good? That's literally what you Why do. can't they both? No, no, I've been working for you, you just, almost at two you years par- now. You like paranoid, man. Face. Stop being so paranoid, man. Relax. Stop being so paranoid, man. There's no way you watch that game and the first 
first player you mentioned is Jorginho. It wasn't the first player. We, it wasn't the first player we mentioned because I've not said who I thought was man of the match. Yeah, exactly. The reason why I prayed, I gave George. He won a hundred percent of his yeah, jewels. Saliba, Saliba was exceptional. Um, <laughs> Harlem, Saliba, like you. Who did? Who? Hey, Saliba. Like cyborg. We got Saliba. Out yeah, Saliba was exceptional. The he won a hundred percent of his jewels, why, bro. The reason why I'm giving Jorginho credit because if Jorginho played bad today. And you heard troops say it, oh, Jorginho Stein, oh, for fuck's sake, here we go. He'd be here getting criticized. So what's wrong with saying he played well? I didn't say he was 10 out of 10. I didn't That's say true. he was the best player on the park. I just That's gave true. him his flowers. Why are you That's mad true. at me giving someone their flowers? Bear That's in mind, true. I hate the team. He does know. have an agenda, though. Who has yeah. an agenda? Me. I have an you, agenda. You, blood. What do you mean? Who? Who? Me? You, you, blood. <laughs> what do you mean, me? Yeah, you, blood. <laughs> do I yeah. have an agenda? Pussio. I you. agree with you. I said Rice played very well today. I agree. I'm in agreement. No, he's not talking about today. He's talking overall you have an agenda against Overall, yeah. Oh, because I said he's not a 100 million pound player. Yeah, because my there definition of a 100 million pound player again. is different to you. Again. Yeah, yeah, I think it's because di mine's different. If you're a 100 million pound player, you better be the difference between us winning a league and not winning a league. Do I believe that's Declan Rice? No, I don't. That doesn't mean I don't think he's a good player. 100 million pound player. You better be the difference in us winning the league. I'm not hearing about partners. I'm not hearing about the rest of the team. I'm not hearing about injuries, etc., etc. I think he's a good player. That's it. So you don't do context except when it suits you. Fair enough. I yeah. always do context. I always explain myself. Normally, you just cut no. me off or something. Okay, That's if you always do context, right? <laughs> if you always do context, tell me tomorrow. Tell me right yeah. now. Why, did, why did Arsenal not win the league last season? Go on. Why did, I, because, why did Arsenal what, not win the league last season? Because yeah, they just not over, overall they're just not very. They're not as good as so, you. So, so if Saliba if Saliba didn't get injured, do you think they don't win the league? Yeah. Okay. So I killed this one dead. Because shout out to Jamie Carragher because he did a bit on this on um M M N F and he don't played that. Was, Carragher, yeah. Nah. I have to shout him out because he did some real punditry when people. I see. Why are you mad at me giving people their flowers when they deserve it? I give shout you your flowers. You deserve it. Yeah. A hundred percent. Like when he does something that I remember. So he did um a with and without for Arsenal in terms of Saliba. I know the stats were pretty much the same. It was a myth. All the stats were pretty much no, the same no, in terms these, of, these no, in terms of let me land. See what I'm these talking about. You said, this is a prime example of what I'm talking about. You said I don't provide context, and then you said you don't provide context, and then you're cutting me off. So the goals conceded, shots faced, uh, oppositions, and all them defensive stats were pretty much the same. It was a myth. Arsenal, mm -hmm. The reason why Arsenal didn't win the league last season is because their senior players are just not up to the mark. I said it. They when just you are it. Well, well, when you are and on top of that, Premier League wise, when you are, there's never been a side I can think. Apart from Blackburn Rovers in the early 90s, who won the Premier League without a central midfielder who is like exceptional, like world class. Blackburn <laughs> Rovers are the only side. Hey, Tim Sherwood was a good midfielder. Yeah, but he wasn't world class, was he? Kante anyway, let me let me let me tell you. Let, let me tell you about the other Leicester, context Kante, thing. Kante was well, he's world class. Tell no, I would say he's world class. Yeah, I wouldn't say he's world class unless you put him in. You, yeah, you want him to him drink the drink water and the the drink water and Kante pivot was second to none. It was, but if you take Kante out... It was out, because of N'Golo. Yeah, the, if you take... Uh, but they work together. Because if no, you they, take N'Golo out, if you take either of them out of that midfield, Leicester don't win that. that, that no, um, I think we... Yeah, you took out out N'Golo out, anyway. they went straight back to a relegation fight. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's 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 and then took, you, yeah, but we went you took both of them. You took both of them, no? No, oh, we didn't start them together. I would have rather that over Fabregas with his washed legs at that point. We never <laughs> wow. had them. Wow. But yeah, that's what it is. Hey, I'll be real about my players. You already know that. Fabregas well, yeah. was done by 1780. I, I don't think you could use Leicester as a measuring stick. In my opinion, flawless, right? You can. You are a person who says many times, stats, sometimes you could use them in your own favor. Now, the reason why I'm saying that itself, it's that stat mm -hmm. in itself is out of context. They're not telling me who they played with Saliba, who they played without Saliba. What if they you played tougher check. opposition? What if they played easier opposition? Arsenal can beat Luton Town without Saliba. They can beat Sheffield without Saliba. They can beat these guys without Saliba. Can they beat Man City, Liverpool, the tougher teams in this league? No, that's a different conversation. Because that's, so that's the thing. We went, to, we went to Anfield injured. with no Saliba. We went to exactly. Etihad with no Saliba. Difficult if grounds, Saliba bro, without our main... Our champion. Without team, our main... Yes. And, and we went there... And we went there with Rob fucking holding, mate. Yeah, you yeah? did. But I've, I've said this before. When United was successful under Fergie, every single time we lost the league, somebody was missing. We never lost, to my knowledge, I have to double check because there's someone who's older than me who's probably watching. Yeah, we ran Man, you down. 98, you yeah. had no Every... injuries. We ran you down. Guaranteed somebody was injured. No, nope, we ran you somebody. down. We ran Guaranteed you down. Somebody. We ran you down. Injured. You got kicked out of the Champions League. 
And then Guaranteed. we started running you down, bro. 90, 97, 98, right? Guaranteed yep. we, somebody was We in. ran you Guaranteed down, bro. You had Cole. Missing. You had flipping um, Sheridan was there them time there. Solskjaer, nah, Beckham, Giggs. No, he signed 97, 98, blood. Was it 97, I can't remember. Yeah, that. he didn't sign 98, 99. He signed 97, 98 because I remember right, he scored. Right. He scored two yeah. goals against us when we beat you 3-2. At Highbury, when the Nelco got his debut goal and his first, yeah, he got his debut goal. See that against you, you lot. That's yeah. why I forgot that. But the point, mm -hmm. that point, that and Sheridan not, got two goals. Point, like, I remember that. But the, but the original point I'm making is, all right, most of the time, that's why you I had said no that, injuries. Like. Check, but most yeah. of the time, like well, your I'm main man, them Keem was fit, yeah. Schmeichel, Beckham, all them. But man. then I remember seasons where man got injured, whether it was a Pallister, whether it was a Bruce, whether it was a Roy Keane, like somebody got injured normally. Like these things happen is the point that I'm making. So I'm not hearing about, oh, if Saliba yeah, stays fit, Yeah, but you're stronger than the Arsenal didn't. side from last Nah, but season. I'm not going to lie. If Saliba stays fit, we win the league. Right, yeah, you, you got to hold on to that, innit? Rob, bro, you have to realise that Rob Holding, Rob like, Holding's come on, good. bro. He's like, Rob Holding, you. Palace ain't even fucking playing him, bro. They yeah, played him I, in the League Cup against you lot. That's the only game he's played, bro. Yeah, and they held free, but you know he got what? dropped the next game. It. So you know we move. Like it is what it is, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? If buts and babies, isn't it? This ain't Marvel. We don't do what ifs. It's about what happened. Well, I'm, but doing context, a, I'm doing a, I'm doing budget. a fucking I'm doing a what if now, blood? What if Kovacic got sent off? He should have got sent off. Yes. Yeah. But we know for the first challenge. Yeah. We, 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 for the we, first we, challenge it was, or the it second. Was a, it was definitely a second. It was, was the first challenge a red. If he would have sent him off, I personally don't think it was a red, but. If he would have sent him off for it, Kovacic would have only had himself to blame. The Jones second, got yeah. the ball, the, yeah. The second challenge got is the yeah. ankle. Yeah, but his the same ankle was Chris, he got but his the same last week. Yeah, but his, yeah, but his to me, it. to me, his was higher. Kovacic's wasn't as high as Jones's. He wasn't as okay, high as Okay, but it's flawless once again. Go on. See now, let's let's all. Uh, it's because his all, foot slipped. I, I called this on it's last stuck, week. Back happened. again. Go watch back mm -hmm. again last week. I said, inshallah, yeah. if we're all happy, safe, and, and healthy this Sunday at four thirty, we'll all watch Arsenal City, and a referee will not be able to make a decision in high pressure moments in games like this. Referees are not making correct decisions now. This is that that whole coverage thing is an atrocity. I'll tell you why. Number one, it was worse than the Jones tackle. I'll explain it because Jones got the ball first, and then he and then got, he on just went much, straight bro. on Odegaard's ankle, bro. No ball, yes. nothing. Yeah, bear yes. in mind, With I did Kovacic, say, I didn't did. even touch the ball. Yes, and what bear makes this work flawless bro. is it went to VAR. So if Michael oh, yeah, Oliver didn't get that. it, fair enough. It went to VAR. VAR now, what are makes, fucking embarrassing. But we this, know we they never know got the ball. VAR is inconsistent. The point that I made, the original point that I said was, if he would have been sent off, he could have had no complaints. That's what I started with. I always add context. There's no sometimes with me. That's what I said. However, was the second challenge definitely a yellow card? Yes. We know VAR is inconsistent. Why are we here yes. talking about what we already know? So he should have been off regardless. Know? He should have. Yes, I agree with you. So you know the Kovacic situation I agree was with what? You. It was Curtis Jones and Jota at the same time. Yo, it was it is what it is. It? Load, or it was Curtis Jones red for the but first. Arsenal won the game, so they blessed. Pitch. Arsenal won yeah, the game, didn't it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then he like, said... That, that's a what if that went in. That's a what if that... That's a what if that went in their favour. The Saliba one didn't right go now. in their okay. favour. Because well. Arsenal won one nil, so no one's going to say yeah. anything. Mm -hmm. Imagine City won one nil and Kovac has scored the winner. Yeah. Then what? Oh, it would have been oh, hilarious. Oh, <laughs> I was hoping. Oh, you're saying it's hilarious. Okay, then what happens to your club next week? Then what? Yes, when it happens to my club next week. Yes, what? You know what I do? Okay, okay. So are you? Because you've used me as an example. Find me a clip where I've complained about a refereeing decision going against Manchester United. Okay, but I'm saying it's time we all complain because they need to get their shit together. No, the consistency is unbearable at this point. I'm with you. If everybody wants to band together and complain and get it sorted, yes, I'm not with this. Complain when it's I'm not this. Complain when it's my club. Then when it happens to somebody else, everybody's quiet about it. No, that's why for me I'm complaining when it's everyone now. Yeah, if we had enough of these referees, I've actually had enough. Can do i don't know where we can meet you know what i'm saying back again headquarters and if we all want to put this together and i'm patting the plan so how to var i'm with you man of course if it happens of course if it happens to arsenal it happens to city or it happens to liverpool yeah i'm like what happened to you lot was i can't i still can't believe it you know what i'm saying i still can't believe what happened to you lot it was funny though every day it was getting worse nah it weren't funny black guy was talking them they weren't funny bro oh yeah yeah they're top of the league as well innit no 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 we ain't shouting them out i will take you out of the stream you know why are you mad at me saying you take you out of the stream you know do talk now there's a third member who hates spurs on the stream that's number one why number two you look at the top four table there is a clear imposter among us there is an imposter 
I've never <laughs> seen a bigger imposter in my whole life. I promise <laughs> you Spurs are going down. Mark my words, clip this, bookmark this. When Spurs go into the stuff run now, they're going down. Because this massive imposter that's not in Spurs are going down the drain soon. And you will see all this ain't hype. Yeah, mate. We beat Luton, Sheffield, <laughs> Burnley. Ooh, best yeah. manager ever. We beat and they beat Liverpool. Clubs. And, drew away at Ars- and drew away against Arsenal, which City couldn't do. And beat my club as well. To any Spurs fan watching, you lot don't let Are you a Tottenham fan? Fucking idiot. Fuck no. I'm just giving. Why can't I give people that I gave you? Why are you creating flowers? political relations? Please, have some shame. What do you mean? The man has shame. shame. Hold his <laughs> head up. Hold, what do you mean? Is hold up. Hold up. I gave Jorginho his flowers and Arsenal and Declan Rice. Does that mean I'm an Arsenal fan? No, I'm an equal opportunity. What about? Give up. All right. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, right. That's cool. But we've right. got no Arsenal fanless here. We ain't got no Tottenham. They don't need to be. Yeah, I know. I'm just giving them up. If there anyone else is top of the league, be like, give Kai Havertz his flowers. Blood. For for the goal, he was cold. Yes, he was, yes. very well. He was goal. brilliant. You should start him next game. You should start Agreed. him next game. Agreed. Yes, yeah, yeah. Start him for the rest of the season. Man. And if goal he and assist. Him up front. Yeah. Goal and assist in his last two Premier League games. The winning assist as well. You see that hold up play, blood. The older play was very good. I give him his plus. See that. What did I say to you? Fun. I said I said to you, look, yeah, I prefer Havertz in that role. I think in the midfield, it's just a, it's just a wasted, a wasted human being, bro. You get me? It's it, we're literally carrying him. He's a passenger. When he plays in that position, he is a problem, blood. I'm not gonna lie. When we played City in the Community Shield, Arteta started him there. He was a fucking problem. City didn't know how to deal with him, blood, because he's tall and bulky and he's kind of like flim, like weird with it, and like they p- defenders don't know how to deal with it, blood. I really like, like Ake and then Mande was like, yo, do we like, I think that's, no, 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 no. I think his role, no, 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 no. relax, relax, now let me laugh, now because I'm, I'm circling, I'm circling, I'm talking to, I, I, I'm talking to air control and they're saying I can't land right now. So I'm still circling, blood. do you understand? So I think that his, that, that should be his role to bring him off the bench. If we're chasing a goal, yeah. if, if, if we're two one up, and you want to go long and have someone hold up the ball and bring in the likes of Martinelli, if it's when Saka's there, Trossard. I think that is the perfect role for Kai Havertz, blood, to be an impact player, blood. Because the, guy, man. the impact he made, bro, was... I don't know if it's because he knows how to play against City, because obviously he's got previous... He's the reason why that pussy old has two Champions Leagues. So... You get me, like caught him a pussy off for no reason. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I had, yeah, I had to. Hey, brother, cause well, I, we I had a Champions, Champions League thing. Europa League. <laughs> so you get me. I think that yeah, man. Like I, I want to pick up Havertz, oh, but I can't lie. Like, like yeah, man. Like he, I like he, like I never cussed. The only time I cussed him was the Brentford game. He rattled me in the Brentford game, bro. You get me. Up until then, I was like just biting my tongue. But then <laughs> the the Lons game. He was quiet, but the whole team was quiet, innit? You get me? Yeah, so. and he's never gonna see he's never gonna stand out. Like you said, he's best off the bench. Did he start that game? Yeah. So I tell you, he's not getting the best out of him there because he's not start. He's off the he's just needs to be off the bench. Yeah. That makes sense. Because even when I he came, give him a full 90 up front and see now relax, bro. Now relax, bro. That's where I was gonna go with it. But then I, I, might, I might get accused of being a Havertz stand. I would take both of you out of the thing, blood. Yeah. Why? Why can't we? And it would just be me and it would would just be me and Hussam, blood. Yeah. Happily, happily. Our top goal scorer last season. Now you can keep Lewis. Lewis ain't that bad. I don't look at this guy. Look at this guy. And this guy wants to talk about you stab me in the back all the time. Blah blah blah. This guy's like keep. This guy came in here trying to do Jorginho prop. Oh, Jorginho. How was it? I just a fraud, Allah. I just. What do you mean? I just propped Havertz. I propped Arsenal. Why can't I give people their flowers? I'm an equal equal opportunity. Anyone who watches giver. that game flawless, the first player that comes to mind is Taliba, second Declan Rice. Those are the two. Yeah, Don't okay, come but here and because... lie to the people. No, I right. you, you look on TV and I'm act not lying like you the sat people. there and you never clap lie to the people. for fucking Jorginho. No, no, no. On, this man. is why this is no because I didn't get asked the question. Troops was talking and then mentioned Jorginho. Okay, and name then the I three ch- best players then, for us. No, let me land. Name let me land. That I get to it. Let me land and then I chimed in just that because you love context. So let me add context to the situation. Troops was talking, then mentioned Jorginho, and I chimed in and said, "Yeah, he played well. He was part of a functioning unit." I never said Jorginho was the best player on the pitch. I never said he was top three. 
I never said that. I didn't say he was exceptional. I said he played well and was a part of a functioning unit. But you took that and think because I have ulterior motives that I'm trying to take away from Declan Rice. Declan Rice was the best central midfielder on the pitch. What are we talking about? Including both We teams. got there 25 minutes into the is, part. Like, what are we talking about? Like, but I thought that anyway. You know what I'm saying? Nice part, uh, I thought well that. Done. But well, oh, I'm not Declan Rice. Though. Was that but hard? Was the pause. No, it was. Yeah, you could have said yeah, that 20 pause. minutes ago. We wouldn't have argued. No, there's not no argument. You just thought I had an ulterior motive, which I don't. Why do I have an ulterior <laughs> motive? You, know, your is you say something and then you smile and you laugh and you know exactly what you mean. And then no, you I act like happy. you didn't know what no, I wait, meant. Wait, 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 I know you were trying to play dumb, bloody. That's what yeah, fools love do that. Try to come look like he's some like he's some duppy. You try to come and look like he's some duppy, and you fucking full well know he's not black. Yo, I'm just happy to be on the show. I genuinely look forward to this. Man's a, man's a weekly fixture on Troops TV. I watch this. Like, I still watch it. But I used to watch this. You know what I'm saying? And that. Like, when we talk, I'm ha- I can't be happy to be here. No. <laughs> you know a wrong? Dickhead. I can't wrap my head together. <laughs> 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 I'm going to be emotional. I'm just happy to yo, be here. You're trying to do the fucking here. heartstrings, blood. How is it? Yeah, man, so okay. I can't be happy to be here. No. You know what I'm saying? No, we're all happy to be here. I'm happy to be here. Me too, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, what do you mean? You've only been happy for two weeks, Lewis Blood. <laughs> yeah, man, I've been You've been, mi- <laughs> you been miserable since January, Blood. It's not wrong, but I have to He's enjoy these right. moments, isn't it? Yeah, he, he, was was well, he was happy, and he got hey, back to like, well, he said, was, I'm happy, and then... Oh, oh, yes. yeah. Just Although I'm annoyed at you guys, because yeah. we'd be top, we'd be in the top half if you didn't pull that jammy bullshit in the 90s. Yeah, yeah facts, we'll you, man, that, you man mudded Chelsea, blood. Yeah, and it had to be done, you know, it had to be done. That's the perfect one. That's the perfect, that's the perfect segue, blood. Man United 2. Brentford won. McMayonnaise, McT, as KG calls him. Um, I'd love to know what Rats calls him. Bloody, I don't know, but I would have dropped it, bloody, get me. I don't know. I need to go check what Rats calls him. Yeah, you get me? Real. But Man United 2, Brentford 1. Um, now, that bald professor tried to say we did a smash and grab. Um, his glasses must not be... The lens must not be working, blood, because in the stats behind his wham of bald head, it clearly said that we had more shots on target than his fucking idiot team, blood. Do you understand? Um, what Flawless did was 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 street robbery, blood. Do you understand? You saw Brentford, you backed out the nank, you said, give me your phone, give me your pin code, boom, bang, bing, and you kept it moving, blood. You were, in my opinion, I watched that game, because obviously we do the back again podcast. <laughs> Respectfully, I was not watching Burnley fucking Chelsea blood. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Lewis. You missed the better game. Sorry, no, Lewis. Bro, I was not watching that yeah. shit, blood. Yeah, <laughs> I watched like a, I had like a football and a lot of goals. I watched like a logo highlights version. I wasn't watching that shit live, blood. You get me? And then Brentford absolutely pumped you. Pause. You get me? Um, Pinnock was outstanding, you get me? And I think the keepers let him down. I think Thomas Frank has let his team down because on the on the winning goal, I think Brentford are too high up, blood. When you're literally the last kick of the game, you have to be as deep as possible. Pause. You understand? The higher up you are, you give Man United a chance to run in the back. Pause. Bear pauses right now, blood. You understand? I feel like cam blood pause. <laughs> but um it was it was an atrocious performance from you, blood. It was so atrocious that Mount, Rashford, and Bruno were all substituted. Yeah. And to top it off at full time, Rashford refused to start to sign a young Man United fan shirt, blood. I didn't know that. I didn't yeah, know I saw that. I, I, I saw Terry Flewers post it. Oh, did Terry mention it? Okay. Yeah, and this fucking idiot saying, oh, if, if Rashford stopped, the media would have been like, oh, why is Rashford stopping? He's causing a child to be a, in a dangerous situation, brother. Huh? You know, in his gridlock, no cars are moving, blood. Yeah. Wait, yeah, where, wait, safe, wait where, where, where was it that he refused to sign it? So it was outside OT, he's gridlocked, okay. he's in his car, and he's like okay. by a roundabout, but it's literally yeah. gridlocked where the car's going at like one mile per hour. 
Mm. No cap. There's okay, nowhere man. he can... He can't, he, can't drive put, he, can't, he can't put his foot down, bro. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. And he refused to sign the Young G's um, shirt. Yeah, I, and, I, and I think that's, that's disgusting. I can't yeah, lie. yeah, that is. That's, and that's very, that's very... There was only like, two youths there as well. It weren't like a... It weren't like there was, was a like crowd. a bag of them. It yeah. was literally two youths, bro. You could literally press the window, quick thing, da 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 respect. Next one, da 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 respect, done. Yeah, and that's very unlike Rashford because I don't think I can think of any time where it's been seen that he's refused to sign a shirt and he should have signed it. You know what I'm saying? No matter what mood he's in, those those kids are nothing to do with that. It's not like, I've not watched the video, so I'm just going off what I've heard right now, but I'm sure they weren't shouting abuse at him. They probably... No, nah, they weren't. I just look into... Look into but that tells you where Rashford's at in terms of his confidence. His confidence is on the floor. And this is on the manager who consistently continues to play him. For the Ten Hag thing, when you mentioned about the Arsenal, just, just back to that as well. Manager lies after press conference. It's like a politician. They always lie. And all our managers do it all the time. Like, that's not a surprise that he said what he said about um, us dominating the game. Of course, he's going to say that. Um, or something along those lines. But yeah, with Rashford, that just goes to show, like I said, how out of, how low his confidence is. His, his confidence is rock bottom. And you can see that on the pitch. And this is now on the manager to drop him and take him out of the firing line. I'm glad it's international break. Southgate will play him. I hope we don't play him like from the start. I hope if he does play him, it's 10, 15 minutes. I would have rathered him not been selected or form. He shouldn't have been selected, but that's Gareth Southgate for you. Picking players um, out of form. And I don't even want to see him because I think we got Sheffield United and then I think it's Copenhagen. I think they're the two games. I even want to see, I don't want to see him start the Sheffield United game or the Copenhagen Do game. Do tough Take it, uh, exactly, yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying I'm not confident going into any game. Take him out of the firing line, and he's not the only one. In regards to the performance, <clears throat> I don't even think Brentford were amazing, but that's been the story of our season. They controlled it though the entire time. That's again the story of our season. You know I'm saying we play well for the first 15 to 20 minutes. Shout out to my guy Murtaza because he was on the watch along with me. He called it at like 15 minutes. We're gonna play well for five to ten more minutes and then concede from our first shot on target. That is now the fourth time. We've conceded from our first shot on target. So we what does well Onana 20, have 25 you? go on. Go on What's what, what, what well, is going on with like Onana, bro? He just he just in put I don't know. I can't say he's in poor form because I've not watched enough of him. All I can say he's going through a tough time right now. Very similar, and people are forgetting this to the He's start. in very poor form. Very, yeah, he is in very poor form. Yeah. He's almost he's averaging a mistake like, again. He is, like, but he is he's closing, yeah, but he's like I said, he's he's going through exactly what De Gea went through. And people have short memories with this. De Gea went through the exact same thing. Yeah, De Gea was pissed off, but De Gea yeah, is a bit and, different. And De Gea was a baby when he came to no, the United. He's, younger, he's not I, a baby. I, I he's an experienced com- goalkeeper. Again, he was having, and I was having this conversation. Again, Lingard yes, was starting. I was having the conversation, shout out Lingard, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yes, I was having this conversation legit after the game when I was running through my live stream. Well, not running through, I was on my live stream. The people talk about, oh, he's experienced, duh, 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 he's 27. Maybe his peak is in the Milan. Maybe this, that's the best he's going to be. Maybe he improves later on. What all I'm saying is I'm not writing him off. Just play him and let's see. So you're not worried? Going. Of course, I'm concerned because his form, uh, his okay. form is poor. But so you I'm are not worried. worried overall. Yeah, of course. You're not panicking. His form is poor. No, there's no panic. You know what I'm saying? It takes more than 11, 12 games for me to be, oh my, because if he had played well, and I've used this analogy before, if he had played well over these 11, 12 games, I wouldn't be like, yo, we got such a goalkeeper, best in the best in the league, which the conversation would be, we're well, sorted for the next, well, though, the next 10 the years. No, the point, no, again. The point that I'm I agree making with is, you. I'm just saying he hasn't. Played yeah, he well. hasn't played well. We know this. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sat here saying he is. He's played very poor. But I, I, what I like is after the Bayern Munich game, how he came out and he put the entire and the entire defeat wasn't on him. He put that on himself. So I'm still gonna him. I'm like, yo, play he was him. a Let's major part of the Bayern Munich defeat. Bro. No, he was no. And no, the Galatasaray. You know, defeat, I'm not just so dispu- again. Like he done better not, anyway. Not not disputing that. That's not the point that I'm making. This one, he would have been. Well. He would have been and, the major part and, as well. Him and and never said, taking accountability and making the same mistake. Then I never, okay. I never said over and over and over again. I yeah, never I'm said sorry he for punching well. you, but then I punched you again. I never said he then well. What? I never said. I never said he played well. What I said was, I like that from his character that he took the entire defeat on him when he didn't okay. need to know that. I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. No, that's but just saying that's what it is. He's writing paragraphs. He should take it on. No, it's no, 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 no. Don't do that. It's not the play because that's the first interview he's done for us. So that's not the same. Players writing paragraphs because he could have easily have done that's that. a lie. First interview was probably on MUTV when he signed. Okay, that's first post match interview. Then, if you want to be picky. anyway, 
first okay. post-match interview. Yeah, hold that. Um, but yes, as I was saying, you have Africa to be honest about them. Onana flawless. You, you can't. Who's not being on? Okay, so what have I said about Onana since you want to interrupt me all the time that you disagree with? Go. I didn't interrupt you all the time. That's so unfair. Answer I the question, one my brother. Sentence after four answer, minutes. Of you, answer the question, my guy. What have I said about Onana well, that you disagree four with? Minutes and then I said one answer the question. Like yeah, because it's my team. So let me do the in-depth analysis because there's a lot okay, of answers. I, so. I can't but say one answer, sentence. Answer, answer the question, my guy. You know what I'm saying? What have I said what? about Onana, Onana that you disagree with? Onana's in horrible form right now. This okay. isn't even... This That's isn't not even answer to the question. Answer the, no, no, no. Answer, no, no, Hassan. This is answer the real question. Bad. What have I said about Onana that you disagree with? If we're with? doing... Okay, I'll answer. Make I'll it... Answer. No, no, no. Answer. Yes, I'll thank answer. you. I'll answer. Cool. If we're doing worst XI in the Premier League right now, None of you would be. I didn't. I didn't say enough. I didn't say enough. I didn't not say nothing about out. that. Okay, just Again, no, no, no. I just, I, was, I just want to answer to the I'll question. I'll answer the question. I just, all I'll I want, Hassan. I promise all I, I will answer. answer to I will the question, answer. man. You know what I'm I saying? Answer. I'm what I'm what have I said about Onana that yeah, you I'll disagree with? Because you said I'm. I'm go on. There's the reason why I ask that, Floss, because it segues to your statement. I'm saying if we made worst XI in the league right now, when I put Onana goalkeeper, none of you would be mad. None of you would go like, "That's crazy." Like everyone would be like, "Okay, he's an." Because the statement that I disagree with what you said, he's I wouldn't say he's in poor form because I don't know yet. That's what you're saying. What I'm saying is, based on him averaging a mistake a game, he is in poor form. Because every single game, there's a mistake clearly happening in front of our very own eyes. Okay, I, I'll, con I'll, 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 I'll add context to that. On, I'll add context to that. When I say he's in poor form, I'm talking about him overall as a goalkeeper because that troops got it. So I have to explain it to you. He said, you're concerned that you're not <laughs> You know what I'm saying this is don't the point that, that I'm don't making. Do that. Don't do don't that, do no, because troops understood it. Let me let me clarify. Let me let me let me clarify. Let me clarify. I'm concerned. It was it was hilarious because it's true. The truth is funny. That's why he laughed like that. That's why your name is laughing at your own jokes. Because that's why it is. But I'm not I'm not laughing at my own jokes because I didn't tell no jokes, even though I'm hilarious. But that's that's here nor there. The point that I'm making is I'm not panicking about it. Yeah, you still laughing. I'm hilarious. I know the truth's funny. You know what I'm saying? That the truth's hilarious. You know. But as as it was saying, no, I am not concerned about him overall as a goalkeeper yet because I need a bigger sample size. I cannot judge your level of 11 to 12 games of two months in a new league. That is very, very unfair because the point I was making is if he had played well during this period, I would not be sat here. And I know my fan base would be talking about he's the greatest goalkeeper. We're set for the next five to 10 years. Rur, tur, tur. I personally need, and you know this about me very well because I speak, I need bigger sample sizes. Same way Hoyland started well. I'm not sat here and said, yeah, Hoyland's going to be this and that. He's 20 years old. We're set for the next 10 to 15 years in the striker position. No, I need to see what happens when you go through a bad patch. Well, if I you need say to that see about this, Hoyland, we wouldn't things. be mad because he's shown signs. I, th I think that's over the top. I wouldn't okay, do that. I, okay, that's over okay, the top. Let's, let, let's not change that. You didn't want me to change the topic. I'm not going to change yeah. the topic. Yeah. Is it over no. the top for both Onan and Hoyland? Yes. The over yeah, the top but, part, we but both agree. The, yeah, but that's well, the thing. But, but I'm not agree? over the top. Okay, I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. If you say Hoyland is going to be a fantastic striker for the next 10 years, over the top. If you say yes. Onana, blah, 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 over the top, yeah. I agree. I'm saying Hoyland has at least shown you signs. Onana, in my opinion, hasn't shown you signs. He hasn't. That's the I problem. I, 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 no, I agree with you, though. I have nowhere have I said Onana's shown the signs. Show me show me where I said that. We can rewrite okay, the so, so by how I much never sample said size do you need? Signs? Because we're eight games into the year. How much I need more than I need more than eight games. With him? That's With him, I need at least I need yeah, I need more than 10 games, at least at least a year. At least before I'm so like, you want okay, to, cool. so you want to just give him time till May. No, no, it takes keepers the year. a long like it's keepers take again, longer to adapt context. than like you don't outfield be players. Yeah, you don't be but paying I attention didn't adapt to when he came to you. I said no, I said, keeper, and he's bad, I said, he's amazing. No, I said the year Same with Ramsdale. Again, this guy don't listen. I said the year. How did you get mate? The I'm year. responding to troops. So who now, but they're coming the in. Now, but they're coming to us from Premier League teams. Exactly. They know he the league. This. Oh, no, He's coming, coming from, from Italy. Italy. Champions League winning teams. Yeah, but no, but it's a different league. It's a different. It's a different, league. It's, it's a different league. Different culture. My brother, he won the Serie A and he got to a Champions okay. League final. He's no, but it don't matter, bro. It's a different he, league, bro. He, he, he still needs time to adapt. Yeah, he's played in high pressure moments. Looks like he's such an experienced kid, bro. He's not. But you know what? Bro, the problem. needed time to adapt at Madrid, bro. Go. The, the, the point, Everyone the needs point, time. So, so the point, the point I'm making is, and I've used Especially this before. Especially the foreign players. Yes, I've but used this before. Like, look at Nunes. I'll give you a prime example. Look at Nunes last year. Look at Nunes this year. Yeah, but you I didn't want Nunes to begin with. That's look, at, look at the difference where, what, like, last year you, you was like, raw. This year you're like, 
okay, cool, we got something to work with here. Like, he actually might be a bad boy. Last year, he was like, yo, fuck this, we fucked up, wasted money. He needed time. He's coming into a new with goalkeeper, it's different, though. That's the problem. Because goalkeeper cannot afford Keepers, this keepers need more time. Because they the way they play time. in Italy to the way they play in England is completely different. Yes. Okay, so, okay, so... If, if he hasn't if played... Have... Like, there's playing against an English team in the Champions League, but then playing against a Burnley... A, a Southampton. Yes. A, 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 it's different, bro. Yes. Playing Champions League, you're playing teams that are going to play the same as you. So there's not going to be no like aerial threat the way they would be if you go Burnley yes. away, if you go to Bournemouth away. All these, like, you understand? Brentford. So it's, Brentford. and that's right. where, and that's where he's making his mistakes. Brentford. It's them kind of clubs. The Arsenal game, he didn't really make no mistakes, blood. You understand? Didn't do nothing. And that's the thing is that I'm, and thank you for clarifying it because it's like, man don't understand what I'm saying. So I'm giving him longer to adapt because he, he is a I goalkeeper. Understand. No, because even when I, no, you don't. No one's going to laugh at the same no, joke no, no, twice. No, I'm not, no you one. don't understand because Promise even you. when you said, stop being paranoid, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even making no jokes. I'm not jokes, paranoid. I'm, I'm okay, man. bro. Stop, man. You're not, just I'm not even making a joke. For no reason, like. I'm not, you ain't even let me land because you don't be listening to what I'm saying. When I, when I, I legit have said, no, you haven't. All right, so I killed his dead because you can rewind the tape. Play. Okay, so you can rewind the tape. You can rewind I'm the tape. Don't you can, you can rewind it. You can man. rewind it. You can rewind I'm not making that joke. Well, you can rewind this the tape bad. anyway. The point that I'm making is I said, I've given him till the end of the year and you go. So you're giving him till May. When is May the end of the year? When is May the end of the year? Like, no, I'm giving him ample time to adapt because he is a goalkeeper at Manchester United. So end of the year, you mean December? No, I mean January. When's the end of the year? No, okay, no, no, no. Because come end, on, man. First of all, I'm saying as football fans, when we say end of the year, we mean May. If we're no, talking I don't about mean that's season. end of the season. Yeah, no, that okay. I don't. When okay. I mean so end of the year, about, okay. I mean December the, the December. You know what okay, I'm saying? So January, December, you can December, go December. back because January you can go into the market. Yeah, this so is the point. January. So okay, I'm giving no him. Yes, I'm giving him ample time. But you did this last season with Sancho, and then you didn't keep the same energy. How did I not? You broke up. Because you told you me, give me 10, 15 up. games and 10, 15 games passed by and he was he still wasn't starting and he was... He was okay, here's, well here's, the he difference with, here's the difference with Sancho. He'd been here a second season. This is this is Onana's first season. Mm. And he's playing goalkeeper. That's what it is. So how am I not keeping the same energy? Because I'd be much more harsh with my criticism of Onana if he's, if he's performing like this in the second season. But like I said, I'm looking at... The way you're talking about Onana is the same way everybody, everybody would have been talking about De Gea. And he's one of the before he fell off that four or five year period. Yeah, he's, one best, he's one of the best. He's one of the best. He's one of the best goalkeepers. He's one of the best goalkeepers we ever seen in the Premier League. So I'm giving him ample time to set himself. Do I like what I'm seeing? No, his form has been poor. Was he? At Do you believe that he can turn it around probably? like De Gea? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if he can get up to De Gea's level because De Gea's yeah, but level he is incredible like Gea, for that four or five years. It's not about being a shot stopper. It's about being a competent goalkeeper. That's what I need. Right? It's about confidence as well, which is why it's too early it's to say. Flappy hands and and also goal. as well, the defense helping him. Casemiro giving the ball away for that first goal. Lindelof that clearance. What's goal. your thoughts on Casemiro right now? I mean, to, he again, just needs, keeps making error be, after error. Yeah, needs to be again back to the original thing I mentioned when it comes. His to legs are gone, like a lie. Now it's not a legs thing because giving the ball away is not a legs thing. No, I just think he's in poor form. That's all it is, and I think a lot of our better players are in poor form. And when you take out. Uh, better players from this team. So there's no Varane, no Martinez. Casemiro's not playing well. Rashford's not playing well. You see what's left. That's the problem that we have. First goal as well, that's nothing to do with age. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't do that at 18 years old. You yeah, shouldn't do that full of energy. Like the, and then Lindelof not clearing the ball. That's basic. And I've seen people try and say, oh, it's because he's playing left back. No, Lindelof's not good enough. That's on the manager. Because a lot of these players shouldn't be playing. Lindelof was a part at fault for one of the goals against Galatasaray. Lindelof should not be playing. Because if Linda, people say, oh, we don't, we don't have no defenders on the bench, senior defenders, which is true. But if Lindelof was to get injured, you play someone else there. There's a reason you have youth players. Try one of them. Because I'd, I'd, I'd rather see a youth left back than Lindelof at left back. Dalo, I already know about him. Maguire and Evans was okay. Uh, Casemiro needs to be dropped. Um, Mount, it just mounted. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Mount was Mount. Like, I know Mount's not good. That's why all of a sudden, all this, oh, Mount's played well. Mount's been playing well, though. It is. Against for who? Against where? Against I Palace. Last, no, no, last against three, Palace. Against yeah, rubbed Palace. Yeah, Palace in the, the league. Cup, yeah, and I gave yeah, him. Yeah, been playing I, better than I, Bruno I, I, in my I, I, That's not hard. No, but that was that's a rubbed Palace, bro. 
No, where is no, no, he, he is. played well in my opinion. Even Galatasaray when they lost, I don't think. Oh, no, you know why? Because the bars well. on the floor for him. That's why. Because what I've no, noticed no, no, is no, with I, Mount. No, the bars I've on the floor is, for Man United. Yeah, yeah exactly. Thing. And Bruno's a part of that. Is he not Manchester United captain? No, no, Bruno. I agree with you, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. But the point I'm making is that's how I know Mount's terrible because the Mount defense that I'm hearing is the exact same as the Bruno defense. All them Bruno defenders, you know what I'm saying? When troops met, man, you know what I'm saying? Whenever we started working together and he was like, right, you don't rate Bruno. Now everyone's starting to see it and the defense is exactly the same. Mount don't do nothing. He does less than Bruno because he don't even, at least Bruno will get on the ball and oh, try and make things happen. Okay, so how does man have, wait, 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 how does man have 19, how does man I, have I disagree with you. Wait, 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 so, take so, on the game. So answer the, the question. Game. So no, I think you were much take better on, than Brentford. I've not even, I've not even given my take on the game fully yet. So how I think you you're much better than Brentford. Wait, 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 wait. Think, how can you disagree, how, how can you disagree with my take on the game and I've not given my full take on the game? Okay. I'll tell, tell you. Okay, tell see you. how man just talk rubbish. You know what I'm saying? No, that no, man no, just man chat rubbish. How can man just chat rubbish? How can you disagree with my take on the game and I've not given my full take on the game? Started, it was 24 minutes then. Yeah, let me, go, let me go, man. Let me go, man. I got so stuff you've to say. You've spoken overall. Let me get game. off. Okay. Let me, let okay, me. Yeah, I've not, go ahead. Talk. Because there's I a lot speak. to discuss. Tell me Thank when you're done. You. I will, I'm, I'm a, only allowed is, to speak when but, you're done but, completely. No, 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 go it's ahead. not. But just to clarify to the chat, that's how you know her Sam full of rubbish. Man said he disagrees with my take on the game and I've not given my take on the game. So unless he can read Professor X and he can read minds, that tells you all you need to know. But yeah, sure. Um, But yeah, as I was saying, where was that? You said you were lucky. I disagree. Again. I, get, I was talking to said. troops on that okay. part. So you're the one who's All right, not cool. listening. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Sure. You know what I'm saying? How convenient. Um, but yes, as I was saying anyway, typical Manchester United individual errors for goals. Typical of us. Powder puff going forward. Rashford should be dropped. Hoyland's always bright. Um, the manager is, has... I feel out. sorry for Hoyland. Yeah, because he's starving. He's, he's being provided by Rashford, Mount, Bruno. That's on the manager. The manager's put out one fire because what he's quickly realised for all his mistakes and his stubbornness is Bruno and Mount can't play in the same midfield. So he's shoehorning Bruno into the team because someone asked me that question and I think Mount was... I think Mount initially was supposed to be an Ericsson replacement. But then when he's realised he couldn't work, he's now the, the Bruno replacement. But he's like, Bruno's captain, so I have to play him wide right. The reason why Hoyland's starving is Bruno, Mount, Rashford. Nobody's eating. Starving. He's always going to start. But in regards to the game, um, I give him credit for the sub because even when he brought on Scott McTominay, I was like, what's going on? We managed to get over the line. But when we scored the second goal, when we scored the first goal and the second goal, you can see on my watch along, it's more relief than happiness. 15, 20 minutes later, I'm like more in the happiness bag, but it's relief because it's Brentford. And I know this is not sustainable. This manager, I think he's, I think he's done. I'm saying you carry on playing these players, you're cooked out here. You ain't going to last. You are not going to last playing these. He's bought himself a bit more time with that win, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, this is very similar to... It's the Oli reign all over again. That's what it is. Like, Oli would be like, all right, one defeat away from complete the purge and, and almost out the door. Then we pick up a win from somewhere. Then we pick up another win and then we go on a bad win. You see how long Oli lost with that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't get mistaken. I'm not saying that he's, um, he's going to get sacked because our board don't sack managers when they're supposed to. Oli should have been sacked long before he should have went to uh, Mourinho. Should have been back to uh, sacked way before he should have um, before he was. But our board of cowards. You see it with the Greenwood situation. They wanted to bring him back, and then because of online um, online was the backlash. They then like, all right, we're not bringing him back. Like that's just what our board does. But yeah, he can't carry on like this because that Brentford game is like again, teams are not at their best when they're beating us. There's no team we've lost to who are at their best when they beat us, and we've lost a lot of matches. That's a damning indictment. And it's the same patterns. I'm saying conceding from the first shot on target for the five games are like 11. No backbone, no, no, no toughness, no will. And that comes from the manager, but the players hold, have to be held accountable as well. But these are his guys. So this is my thoughts on it, pretty much. Same Can old I shit. speak now? Am I allowed yeah, of course. To give it's yours, opinion. man. I had bad, I had bad shit to say. It. It. Only took you 27 minutes. Now, mm -hmm. here's the thing with, with Man United. I actually disagree. I'm actually not going to be shameless. I think Man United were much better than Brentford. I'll be honest with you. Brentford were fucking shit. Man, hey, with the people's oh, eyeballs. I'm sure I'm being dead serious right now. Brentford were actually shit in that game. They were so shit, Brentford. And there's one statement only Flawless said I agree with, is teams are not beating United at their best. Brentford were far from their best, and somehow they managed to be 1-0 up. They I'm were not cutting the them part. open in the first half, you saw blood. Bro... Man United were a, a lot more in control, a lot more in control than they've been in previous games. I think Man United created more dangerous chances. And when Rashford came off the pitch, they became 100 times stronger. 
hundred times stronger as soon as the guy came. Anthony done home. well, I can't lie. Because Garnacho is more uh, Anthony and Garnacho. Garnacho is he more does. prototypical winger. So he will yeah, run down gonna, the he, byline be, and he will like, cross it in and he will dribble sometimes. Rashford it's not hard to be better than Bruno out there. Head, like that's just head, what head down, can, I'm a shoot, same, I'm a shoot, I'm a shoot. That's same with Ganacho and it's the same with Ganacho. No, I think and Rashford well. played well to be honest with you, and I don't think they deserve to lose had they lost because Brentford were shit in my opinion. I think you could I, I would say them getting the win. You could say maybe they like smash and grab that, but I think draw was probably a fair result. I don't think Brentford were that good so at you all. Said, I'm gonna be you said we created chance. What chances did we create? Uh, the mount one, Bruno to mount. Um, there was a couple of Hoyland chances. No, no, no. Not just say Bruno to mount. What was the passage of play? Brother, I did not write it down on a notepad. So you know, you man, always you're do this. Like, I'm here How and do go, I do like, this? No, it's not. Because if I ask you, if I, I can't ask you today, the chance that there was no there, today. There was no oh, clear. Okay, so I'll clear it. There was no. I, I watched the, the game. Chances. Chances. That's why when you're saying, I'm like, yeah, bro, I watched the game. Specifics like that, like there was no. Like, I do. Brett, Brentford, like United, kept losing the ball in midfield. Brentford would break, and then the final ball would let them down. Yeah, yeah, and they were like, like, like the amount of times and Buemo was running at them. Holding it up, Visa will shout, come have shout, a shot, just go wide. Like it was like we United. Created no, we created no we're lucky in we the first no, half. Like. We created no clear okay. chances in Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Man United 21 shots, Brentford 11. On target, 8 to 3. Possession 65% okay, but, Man United. 65%. But outside, but again, we bro, that, bro, there was like, Hussam, Hussam, there was like, yeah. what, nine minutes added time? Yeah, there was. There That's was. when what? most of the pressure started coming, Black. Yeah, there was, again. No, I it. disagree. I'm saying we Rashford did. onwards. Substitution. We no clear for came off. I wonder how many of them were blocked. The, the, outside of, the thing is, Lewis, outside of the two goals we scored, and like I say, props to McTominay, props to the team for doing that because they did fight to the end. We didn't create no clear cut chances in that game. I actually don't think Brentford were great. I don't think Manchester United were great. Yeah, it was two mid teams. Numbers saying. are used to lie with us. I said that draw was deserved. Did you say draw deserved? Uh, because you cannot say Brentford were yes, amazing yes. or exceptional or anything. I agree they were with you okay. On that. Yes. Like they were just yes. okay. Sam, I agree with you on that. Yes. Okay. See, Halas. Yeah, in terms of the draw. Uh, on that one, yes. I agree on that one. Because this guy be saying stuff I don't be saying, but yes, that I agree with. Yes. Lewis. Burnley one. <laughs> Chelsea four. Lewis is back again with a W and back again. With hella goals, blood. You understand? Goals from um, Oldenburg gave Burnley the lead, but then you lot came back with a vengeance. An own goal from Al Dak Al Dak Hill. Cole Palmer got his first goal in the Prem. Raheem Sterling and Nicholas Jackson. Now, Sterling um, hasn't been chosen to play or. Um, hasn't been chosen for the English squad by Southgate, but um, he's been your best player for me um, this season. You get me him. I think in the forward line, he's been your best threat. Um, and he was cooking against Burnley blood. Yeah. Sterling was brilliant. Uh, there, there was a lot of questions about whether he should or shouldn't have been the lineup after the Fulham performance. A lot of us were wondering why he was back in the squad for the game, but he gave everyone a reminder. I will say, like, the same thing I said for Conor Gallagher with his performance against Fulham. He was on smoke as well, blood. No, 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 no. He wasn't. Hold that. Hold nice that. assist. Nice Hold assist that. for the third goal. Like, but no, no. I don't think any of you guys watched the actual Chelsea game for a full 90. You said you were watching the Man United game. Sam, I bet you weren't watching the Chelsea game. So I want to hear nothing from both of you. Yeah, he was watching like, and three in his mind, Professor X Men. He was there. He was there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. He was doing the professor. He, he did more wrong things than right. Like you look like a bozo eight times out of ten. But he got a good assist. Deserves well. credit for yeah. it. Yeah. Fair of play. Course. But the only midfielder that we really need to talk about in that performance was Kai Sedon. Like, he was the only one that really stood out for me. Even Enzo looked a little bit sloppy yesterday. The first half wasn't good. Other than a couple of long <laughs> balls from Enzo or De Sassi, our only attacks were coming from Sterling. Big mess up for the first goal. Like, Colwell gets burned. Thiago Silva doesn't go in for a tackle. Cucurella's ball watching. It's just a giant mess up, and it feels like the old Chelsea's coming back. Struggle to break them down. But Sterling was the only one trying to make something. He was the only one trying to get the ball and beat players, trying to have a long shot. He got rewarded with the own goal, which is a little bit of luck, but you need luck. 
Second half, they were a bit more open as a result of that. Sterling keeps getting at them. He's involved in literally every single goal. Gets the penalty for the second, gets the goal for the third one, the own goal for the first, and then he's the one who sets up Cole Palmer for the pre-assist for the fourth goal. It all went through him. But that is the standard. Like Sterling hasn't played at that level throughout the season. That's been his best performance of the season. I need that in the next few games because we've been talking about the fuck run of fixtures after the international break. We're here now. So I need to see who steps up. Right now, like Cole Palmer looks unbelievable. Nicholas Jackson came on in the second half and had an instant impact. Sterling, if he plays like that, will be pivotal for us in the games coming up. Caicedo looks absolutely unreal, worth every single penny. De Sassi been our best centre-back this season. I just need them to step up and just hopefully we play a little bit better against teams that are probably going to dominate possession, probably going to be the favourites going into this game. But I'm not walking into matches like the Arsenal game just thinking, crap, we've already lost. I feel like we can go in there and at least show a good account of ourselves. We could potentially leave the game with something if we frustrate you guys. But you guys will still be favourites going into the game. I just feel a little bit cautiously optimistic now. You think oh, Pep's found be. his best eleven? Um, no, no, no. no, because Nkuku should still come back into the eleven. Gallagher should still be out of the eleven, in my opinion. I'm saying at this moment in time, because you st- like you're starting to cook. Mm, we're we're playing better. Like I'll say that, but with the opposition we're facing, I can't jump to too many conclusions about it. We'll know exactly where we are in the next few weeks with the games that we have coming up. I think the Sassis look very good. We look solid defensively. Thiago Silva looked a bit better, but still takes way too long on the ball. And I still think parts of this fan base aren't ready for that conversation with him yet. But I would like to see the Sassi and Colwell and Cucurella at left back. Just I think we'll play the ball a little bit quicker out the back as a result of that. And it'll probably help us a bit more going forward because we're not going to have a lot of the ball against you guys. I expect you guys to dominate possession at the bridge and we're going to be trying to play you guys on transition. Can't be slow on the ball as a result of that. Thiago Silva, I think there's a couple uncomfortable conversations there, but we're starting to find our feet. We're starting to play with a bit more confidence. We're starting to take our chances. It's just positives for now, but it's also still Burnley. Like, you can only take it so far. We only played at that level for a half. The first half, we were crap. Other than Sterling, it wasn't anything. I was literally raging the whole way through that first half. It was just, we went in level and Poch must have said something good because the players came out, they were a different team in the second half. I've never said that about Chelsea this season. We usually come out worse. This time, we came out better. So, hopefully just more of the same, really. Do you think that win last week was the turning point? Like, are you lot... Like, you lot are pissed at this international break now, Kai. It's going to slow down your momentum, isn't it? Uh, not really. Like, like I, There was a point where you wanted to see the international break. Do you, do you want to see it now? <laughs> I still think it would be better for us, just in terms of potentially getting other players back from injury. But it does really make too much of a difference for us. We're playing one game a week. Like, momentum's only going to be there or thereabouts. It was just about finally getting some points on the board. Those were winnable games and we weren't doing it. I feel more relieved, if anything, because it's taken us this long to get to this point. But the next run of games makes or breaks our season. It's not now. So I can't get too gassed about it. It's just good to see us finally start winning games. But you need to do it in the games coming up. I know it's going to be difficult. Tottenham away, Arsenal at home, Man City at home before the next international break, Brentford. But you still have to. We still need to get results somewhere. So it's up to Poch to figure it out. I low-key think his pragmatic mindset is going to work in fixtures like that. But also remains to be seen. We're going to be the underdogs going into all of those fixtures. I don't, I don't know what to make of it, but it's not the same team as last season. So I at least feel a little bit more optimistic about where we're at. Nicholas Jackson, um, he came off the bench, got himself a goal. Mm. Does he start the next game or do you keep him as a impact sub? Because like the previous game before that, he was doing fuck all, mate. Just catching yellow cards. Yeah, yeah. He, he he wasn't great the last few games, but ever since the goal against Brighton, he's looked completely different. He looks back to confidence. 
He came on in the second half and revitalized the whole team. Brozier wasn't doing anything. And again, I understand it because he shouldn't have really started. He only got the nods because of the Fulham goal. Or it was just a bit of potch tactics because he wanted to bring him on to freshen things up. And if that was the case, then it actually worked out to our effect. Because Jackson came on in the second half and he was brilliant. He was linking up play everywhere. We should have had another assist on top if Enzo had just put his, his boot through the ball. Instead, he just side-footed it. But he came on, had brilliant interplay, linked up well with Cole Palmer, linked up well with Sterling, got a goal and I think an, ass an assist for his troubles. Has to start. Has to. Like, Wait, he, is, he is our best Jack 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 Jackson has to start, but don't you think Jackson. he's been better? But has he not been better? Has he not been more effective and better off the bench? Bro's just not ready. Like, you're just weakening the team if you start him. Like, like, he's not as fit as or... Is, is it fitness or the level? Fitness, but also sharpness, which relates to performance. So it's basically a bit of both. Like, he, he shouldn't have started that game, in all honesty. People just wanted him to start because he got a goal and it's, like, good for confidence and mm -hmm. you might as well give him something to go off because Jackson's not been in the best form. But now Jackson's come in. He's been excellent coming off that Burnley game. You have to continue him on that run of form. He looks better on the ball than Brozier does. And that's yeah. not his fault. Just give him the cup games. That's fine. No, but for Jackson, that. has to start the league matches. I was going to say, use him as, like, Arsenal was talking about using Kai Havertz off the bench. Yeah, yeah. Brozier off the bench. I'm fine with that. Are you on Brozier? Right, yes, first. Can I ask you a question, Flawless, please? <laughs> Can I ask you a question? <laughs> go, on, go on. I don't know why. Go is it, and it's the Chelsea on. section. One I have second. no idea, man. When he said Kai said he was worth me. every penny, why didn't you stop him and say, boo, he's not worth every penny? Go on. Because I genuinely I think Kai... No, okay, I'll get to it, because I think Kai Sado is worth every penny. I think he's that good. Oh, yes. so Kai Sado worth 50 but right? Yes. No. Hey, go, I think... Go. Again, again, okay, so let me just clarify this. You can disagree all you want. I genuinely think Kai Sado is the difference between... But obviously, the Chelsea are not there, but winning the Premier League or not winning the Premier League. I think Kai Sado is that good. I wanted him at Manchester United. So are Chelsea yes. going to win the Prem? Again, you again, you don't listen. I just said Chelsea no, are not good enough to win the Premier League. No, I Did legit just said. Rice, I don't want to hear it about other players missing and blah blah blah. Yeah, and he's made but a difference. Chelsea I don't want to hear it. Why are okay, not winning the okay, league, okay. No, it's again, that's just, that's, just that's just nonsense. That's that's just nonsense. That is just nonsense. Yeah, he's not nonsense gonna... is your okay, logic. It's not okay. It's not. Are you going to let me respond? Or you just didn't say boo when he said worth every penny. Carry on. 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 Don't well, know. what's it called? Um, they just missed like the thing is with the thing is with Caicedo at Chelsea when he performed poorly when he was playing, I criticized him. But I think overall his level is very good. I didn't watch him against Burnley, so no, I can't comment in regards to that. But I'm hearing from Chelsea fans, he played very well. If you put him in a team that can challenge for the Premier League, I and their team is nowhere near that yet. But if you put him in that team, I believe he can be the difference maker. So back to the point, that's why I don't say boohoo about Caicedo because I think he's that good. Yes, I think he's better than Rice. Yes, he's a better player. Okay, so Mr. Sample Size is refusing to take four years of Declan Rice versus one good year of Caicedo. What in, in what sense? In what sense? What is. How, how long did Declan well, Rice play at West Ham for and gradually got to that? And he got better. He got he, again, season. I think, okay, but again, you're missing the point. I think Rice is a very good player. I just don't think he's Premier League winning. I don't think he's a Premier League winning central midfielder being your main guy. No. I don't rate. Why are you so mad that I don't rate that? A DM will never be any team's main guy. That's just not how... No, it. main guy in the midfield. You can be the main guy in the midfield as a DM. Yeah, you could be as DM. Okay. That's fair. So Rodri that's my point. And I, yeah, and I no, don't but think even then, is. when KDB is back, low-key, he's the main guy. No, but well. okay, but one of... Like, basically have impact. I don't think, and I can't clarify this well enough, you know what I'm saying, that Rice is the difference between winning the Premier League and not winning the Premier League for Arsenal. If, I, if Arsenal had Caicedo, guess what? I treat them much more as title challengers. They would so, have got really? Of so if Arsenal signed Caicedo, you would say that they're like going to win they're the league? They're genuinely, yes, he could be. No, I wouldn't say he'd win the league. I'm saying he makes a major impact in it. He makes me rethink it. Like, same way if they go and sign Ivan Tony, I go, that's serious. They're serious signings that make me go, you know what? Arsenal can do something. Or whoever, Liverpool can do something. 
if you lot would have got Kaiseido or you lot would sign Tony, for example. There's a hey, there's very few, him, there's, there's, yeah, there's very there's very few players I put in that bracket. Okay. I don't think there's many needle movers and difference makers. We had the whole conversation on here a few months back about Harry Kane. And I think Harry Kane is world class. But do I think he's a needle mover? No, because he's never moved the needle anywhere. Club or country. Bayern. Never moved the never moved the needle. He might move it at Bayern, we'll see. But when they get bounced in the Champions League, I don't want to hear no excuses. When they get bounced in the knockout stages because they ain't going to win it, I don't want to hear no excuses for Kane. You know Bayern are getting bounced. Colors. You know. I know they are. I know they are, yes. Because you even, on the, by the way, if you were even a bit better that day, you could have gotten a draw or beat them I'm in their own I, I, I am fully aware. That that's, shit. Come on, man. That is the point that I'm making, though, is even though Bayern Munich are not at the best, they're still one of the better sides in the Champions League. I even disagree with that. Come, uh, genuinely. Okay, Dead you ass. see the okay, you see the Real Madrid side. This is this is when I say difference makers. See the Real Madrid side that won the Champions League a couple of years back. Yes, yes, that's not a Champions League with level winning side. But Benzema no, but was the main man. Makers. No, Benzema no in ben, maker. that's the point I'm making. Benzema Modern, is a different. Benzema is a, is a difference maker. If you yeah, take but Benzema, the team don't have them. Right no, now. I'm not saying they do. The point that I'm making is difference makers. You said it. If you take Benzema out of that side, they don't win the Champions League. That's the level I'm talking. And guess about. what? If you take Caicedo out of Chelsea, they still would have beaten Burnley. So yeah, yeah, they would have. Okay, I don't, I don't know why you're putting on the Burnley game. I didn't watch. I, I, I'm not talking about Burnley. Okay. I just, mm -hmm. you know what it is. You're Mister Sample Size, and I give you that. Mm -hmm. You always wait before you react, which mm -hmm. I understand. The the realistic thing is, if you mm -hmm. value sample size that much. You would rate Rice higher than Caicedo because Rice has been doing it longer. Caicedo just done it one year. Okay, like, I killed I I kill you that last summer. Not this one, the summer before. Yeah, if yeah. I told you Caicedo 150 million, you'd have laughed in my face. No, because you're making a point because I because Caicedo hadn't played. I've watched Rice for three, four years. I watched yes. Caicedo for one year. In so that big one year, I, in, in, yeah, no, but in that one year I seen Caicedo, I rate him. I could be wrong. I rate him higher than Rice, is the point I'm making. I've never been sold on Rice. It's weird to Fair hear enough. a black man say you don't like rice, but yes, I'm not a fan of rice. Don't make I'm not a fan. <laughs> it's very weird. No, it is weird saying that. I've never heard a black man say you don't like rice, but that's crazy. I'm just not is a fan of rice. Is that an actual stereotype? This is the first yes, time I've heard a stereotype. Yeah, it's a, yes, it's a stereotype. Yes. It is a big okay. stereotype. Is a big, that's why rice, I, rice and peas. Is whatever the rice is, I've never, ever heard Our a black man say, you know what? I don't, I don't like rice, never. You know what I'm saying? Like rice is a part of like, whether it's curry going rice, chicken and rice, whatever the case may be, rice is always a part of the dish. But yeah, I don't know why man on my case. Never had Jamaican food, rice. you know, I really want to try, man. Yeah, when you pull, when, when you pull yeah, up. Yeah, we'll, we'll show, put you yeah. on, man. Yeah, 100%. He's just that's not fun. like, I just don't think he's that, I just don't think he's that good. I don't think he's top class, world class. I think he's very good at, at best, that's it. Time will tell, time will tell. Yeah, time will tell. I could be wrong. I'm not saying I'm sat here. I haven't guessed my right. stocks from early. That's what I'm saying. Ah, uh, that's where this comes from then. Okay, now it makes sense. No, because it flawless. I, I I, thought you were being hypocritical there, but you clarified yourself and fair enough. Because you should oh, be the first you. one off mute when he <laughs> said you. worth every penny to go like, boo, 115 billion, not at this, blah, blah, blah. I don't just wanted to keep the but, same energy, but fair the, enough. No, you just but like I, I say though. More. Yeah, I think Caicedo is. I think Caicedo is a top, top quality that player. Guy, isn't it? I wanted him. I wanted That's him. That's why you guys Manchester. want to spend 110 on him. Facts. I wanted him at Manchester. Yeah, United. and what did his agent say? He said he made a mistake. You wanted Chelsea. You see, because you see why I love YouTube. No one, not troops, not any show no, I was on, ever wanted to talk about Caicedo's agent. What he said in the recent interview, it was there for the whole world to watch. He said, he said he thinks we made a mistake, but we felt bad because we already said yes to Chelsea. When yeah. you all made it about pull and London and blah, 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 Caicedo could have been in a title race right now, as things stand. Much better position. Not playing fucking 11th. Oh, you know what? Boohoo to his agent. He's at Chelsea. I don't care about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. That went in one ear and it went straight out the other. I'm so sure he's very happy in 11th place right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's very satisfied. Specifically with this dirty run I'm about to start for you. <laughs> this dirty Usam. run, X-rated right here. That. Long day, wallahi. Long day. Usam. Yes. Casado's old, Casado's old team. Brighton 2. Liverpool 2. Mm. The Seagulls. You went to the seaside and you got more than your bargain for, blood. You get me? They say getting shitted on by a bird is good luck, but it wasn't good luck for you, man, fam. You understand? Mm. Um, where do we start, blood? Um, Van Dyke, McAllister, Allison. Boy, oh boy. That yes. first goal was shambolic, to say the least, blood. I think I think that could have been avoided easily. I think the ball that Van Dyke plays, McAllister, is not on. Um, 
I think Allison can Shouldn't has to save that. I, was I say think that. Allison has to save that. Yes. He has to yes. save that, bro. Like when you see it from behind the goal, okay. he has to save it. I don't. It don't even matter if you don't expect it, bro. He has to save that. He like it wasn't. That. It wasn't that powerful. You get me. But then the equalizing goal. What a move that was, blood. That was a fantastic passing move. Lovely faint from um, Harvey Elliott to let it drop to King Mo, as you lot call him. Lovely finish. Um, the penalty, it could have been two penalties, blood. Um, <laughs> that's a boss lie. Yeah, it's where it got given. And then it. fucking Diaz got swiped literally right <laughs> after <laughs> blood. <laughs> it's fucking, it, it was, it was mad blood. You understand? Um, what else was that? What else was that mad? There was another mad thing, blood. The Allison save at 2-1. Redemption. That is a that is a fantastic save, blood. He he made up for himself um, there. Grab him back, blood. Um, he has that to miss. score that. He Ooh. has to scroll. Oh, if 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 you say miss of the weekend, that is miss of the weekend. Like yeah. blood, he even missed the advertising board when he tried to kick it, blood. Now Jack Hedges probably missed. He kicked and the Luton, air, blood. Luton, Luton, we can come back to Luton. 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 Yeah, Adrabayo. One yard out, no one there. He missed the whole goal. At least grab a bunch yeah, we'll, of Now we'll get we'll, we'll, we'll get to that when we when we wrap up the fixtures and everything there. But Gravenbach is 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 yes. a more highly capable player than the brother down at Luton Blood. Um should Brighton have had a penalty though? The Van no. Dyke handball. Nah. No, Mat- Matoma should score. That's what he should happen. Matoma yes. should score. Matoma yeah. should score. It was legs to hands, it? isn't it? But, but, I've never seen a more bait move to try win a penalty in my whole life. First of all, Van Dijk, it hits his knee, goes to his arm. Yeah, deflects. Arm. But that what happened yeah. to Tottenham. The week before Tottenham, we got our penalty. It deflected off um, the player yeah. and hit Romero. So they have to show the same energy, which is why I, in I my we're opinion... Standing to VAR. Yeah? Well, where's that gone? I it we're hit, it hit, to VAR. And then Mitoma straight up ran to Van Dijk. Look, that game, first of all, yeah, this went was out very even. And then, and then finally, obviously, yes. Andy Robertson, blood. You get oh, me? Oh, my God. Like, what, what is he? Yeah, me, bro. Like, that is... McAllister just looks at him like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? Like, <laughs> McAllister looks confused. Like, swear down, you duck that. You're ducking. You're the he man at the, the front. front. And you duck the cross. He done a bellerin. He bottled it. He bottled he it, mate. But yeah, the floor is me, yours he, now, blood. Me outside the league, man. It yes. Was, was um, terrible, you know, with with this whole game, it was an even game. I think we had chances. Brighton had chances. Even the stats say that it was pretty much an even game. We had a bit more possession, but I wouldn't really look into it like that. Like, we just created opportunities. They created opportunities. Um, there were positives and negatives. That entire left-hand side was dead. Diaz, Robertson, that whole left-hand side. Lord have mercy on my soul. They were shit. Both of them. Both of them. Diaz and Robertson. Uh, I'll get to Robertson in a second. Expand on him. Uh, when it comes pause. to... Expand? <laughs> That's a strong pause, man. Man said expand. Why are you trying to expand him, man? Hey, yo, yo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yo. Hey, Wait, yo. Expand on the Robertson conversation. So anyway. There you go. Um, with the... With the with the midfield three, I think the midfield three selection from Klopp uh, wasn't the right one to begin with. I wouldn't have started Elliot personally. I would have went with Gravenberg to start with. Gravenberg should have scored that 100%. But overall, his performance was different. Overall, he kept the ball well. He passed the ball well. He did what he was required to do, but he should have scored. Because right then and there, 3-1, game set and match and we go home. Um, and for me, that left-hand side being dead really just genuinely just ruined us. And that right-hand side was stronger even defensively. His trend... And I'm going to give him credit defensively he here. Today. He actually just locked up Mitoma today. He fully <laughs> locked him up. Like, Mitoma couldn't get changed. He passed the, the Mitoma test. He did. And then Gomez comes on. And Gomez is supposed to be the defensive guy. And then Mitoma roasts Gomez. And I'm like, what the fuck just happened? Ain't this the defensive guy we just brought off the offensive guy? I don't know why he brought off Trent, but it could be fitness as well because he just came back from injury. But for me, um, first goal, completely, Allison should be saving that, 100%. Um, the reason why we don't show Allison the same energy that we show other keepers, without mentioning names, is Allison is the best keeper in the world. And 
he saves Liverpool week in, week out. So when he makes a mistake like that, mm -hmm. you just let it go because he makes one. Look, Alisson will have a mistake like once every three, four months, one time. But the rest of the time, he's going to save you. So we can we can move on from that point. With, with Mo, he's been our best forward this season. I can say easily in the argument for best player in the world slash league. Uh, you know, he's consistently been performing for us, delivering for us at the highest we were level. We speaking about informed players. Yes. Salah, the one. What do you mean? Right in now. the world? Yeah, right now. I think he's on the table. As I told you last time, I keep the same energy. I think right now there is no standout best player on earth. I don't think you can watch football right now and go like, oh, he's the best. Like, you can just point at one player. You can't. It's like a conversation between five, six people. And you can have that convo. But in my opinion, I think in the Premier League, I think he's been the best performer. So far, if you say from August till today, because he's been doing it consistently. Like, just the Madison. Yes, I, I was I was about to mention Madison. Well, on top Madison, of the table, Madison. I'll tell you what. Shut up, Madison, Lord blood. I have never seen. You know, you know. Let me just say one thing. Hey, Lewis, it's we're gonna. Hey, it's Lewis. When he comes studio, we're gonna. Hey, pause. Come on, no, man. Him up, yeah, blood. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get beat up, people. Man. Yeah, blood. Pause. pause. <laughs> if 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 Arsenal being top of the league is an elephant being on a tree. Then Tottenham Hotspur being top of the league is like a whole truck being on top of a tree. It's it's like the tree is gonna <laughs> remove. What's the whole about doing an I have never seen a bigger imposter. But Facts. let me not start on on Spurs. See hey, a polar boy on Spurs. fucking Malibu. I'd be just like them because I hate Spurs now. I like dislike those. Is this because of the oh, oh, carry on? Is this because of like, the VAR thing? Is that we all hate the VTA heist? Fuck hey Spurs fans, in the comment section. I got I got you. All the homies are standing Hey, I tweeted this out. I'm gonna be honest with you. I I, I actually hate Spurs because they're respect fans. the league leaders, like, man. But go on, fans go on. are just. I'm gonna. <laughs> Bro, big man ting. Hey, Lewis is. Hey, Lewis is rattling me. I swear down, he's rattling me, blood. I can't That's keep defending you. I big man ting is rattling me. He's rattling me, blood. Rush. Yo, because <laughs> because the last thing I want to say from the game is Robertson, because you are completely right. That was absolutely, after the 90 minutes of football, the most pathetic moment of the whole game. You know, sometimes if someone shoots a hard shot, pause, he shoots a hard shot and the guy goes like, he tries to duck it or he like moves to the side. You're like, fair enough. It's because it's like really strong and shit. Bro, how do you duck across? How is the guy crossing? All it was was just a cross. And it wasn't even a strong cross or a, like a fucking... It was like a dink. Around. It was a dink, bro. And the guy's like, out of nowhere, mid-air, he's like, but why? Just head it out, baby. What are you doing? Like, it's just the dumbest mistake I've seen the whole game. The dumbest mistake. And, and it's just getting pathetic with Robertson because Robertson is not doing it going forward and he's not doing it going backward. I think Liverpool, as Hussam been saying, need a DM. And Flawless and myself, we argue a lot. Everyone here knows this. We argue. But sometimes we vouch for each other because we've been working with each other for a long time. So I say I vouch for shit, he says, because we know each other from a while. Same with me. He'll tell you, even when when all the world was shitting on Trent, I was telling people, let's talk about Robertson. Was I not doing that? How yeah, many times did I talk about yeah, Robertson? Yeah, you did say that. You I'm like, telling you guys, this yeah. guy, you guys, it's because with Trent, I always explain this, with Trent, it's because he offers a threat to certain legends. Like, he could one day become the best right back we've seen in Prem. He could. Robertson ain't that guy. So no one looks at him or says Robertson, Robertson. There was a moment in the first, in the second half. Yeah, because he, he will he never, up, like respectfully, he he was good in his prime, but he will never get near Cashley. Never goal. Ashley Cole. Never uh, Patrice Evra. Never no. Doris Erwin. That's the thing. That's the mm -hmm. thing. So in the, in the second half, there was a moment where I genuinely got so pissed off at him. The positioning, IQ, I have a problem with. This, all this fucking brave heart shit, we're done with it now. Soboslai is not brave heart. He has football IQ. McAllister is not brave heart. He has football IQ. All this passion and desire. Fuck the passion and desire. Show me football quality. This guy in the second half, Brighton are on the counter-attack. There is a winger running behind him. His brain, for some reason, decides to run towards midfield. And the space is there for the winger. He could run till tomorrow. That's the chance that you said Alisson saved. That was mm -hmm. go watch it back. Robertson left the winger in so much space, he could have ordered the shawarma, ate it, and still ran through one goal. Because of the... <laughs> that's yeah. idea, so that's, 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 <laughs> but anyway, 2-2 two, two draw away at Brighton. I'm not going to lose my mind. Step by step, we're getting stronger. Uh, you know, we didn't lose. We fought with Brighton. I think Brighton are going to trouble people this season. Home and away. 
they will, will cause problems. I think yeah, they time. could cause a problem for Arsenal and for City for strong teams this season. So yeah, yeah good see. I think with the game we see in today is because Liverpool have come up against against a good side. The issues that they have, as much as they have attacking firepower. You can't continuously keep going a goal down because if you continuously keep yeah, going like, I swear down, it's every fucking game now, two, blood. Two, 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 one of two things is going to happen. One, your attacks not going to be on song, or two, defensively you're not going to be at it because if Graven Birch scores, which he should, because it's terrible, game over. and they go three one, game over, and we're not talking about it. Same way if Robertson defends properly, which he should. Like for that, um, for the equaliser, then we're not talking about it. But Liverpool did. They, Liverpool got lucky in that game in terms of the clear cut chances. I do agree with the, um, Hassan to an extent in regards to the overall, like overall play. But they missed three clear cut sitters. The Matoma one on Van Dijk. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone's talking about the handball. No, Matoma should score because I guarantee if that's he didn't even attempt. What we're shot. talking about is no. It was a shot. It just went well wide. It was just an awful shot. I didn't. Say swear his shot went there. No, nah, it was a mad. shot from It was a shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, That's watch mad. it again. It was a shot. I didn't run for the save from Allison. Good save. You're one on one looking the goalkeeper in the eyeball. Score. And then the worst one, Jao Pedro in front of the goal, six yards out. He Take scored against you from the same sets angle. It. So. Sets it. And it's like, oh, just pick a spot and you put it over the bar. But I think everyone knows Liverpool's like issues in regards to what it is in, in midfield and from a defensive standpoint. And you can get away with that playing against teams who are not of a certain level. But when you're playing Brian, who are one of the better teams in the league, you're going to, they can punish you. And we've seen that. And a two-all draw was probably more, fa was now I would say a two-all draw was more favourable to Liverpool than it was them with the chances they missed. Because they're free, they're free clear-cut sitters. If I get three chances like that, at 2-2, two, two, or I know one of them may be at 2-1. I'm expecting my, my attackers to score that. But that's Brian's problem, though. But overall, it's a good game, though. It was entertaining. But yeah, that's why Liverpool ain't winning the league. But the thing is, if Liverpool actually did what they were supposed to do in the window, they could have definitely like, been in January contention. And buy, then it's different. But do you trust your team to do that? No. No. <laughs> that's why I said exactly. they're not going to win. No, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is what I'm saying with Arsenal. When I look at Arsenal, they had a patterned it properly in the summer window. They could have been closer to see. Arsenal People have a stronger uh, squad. That's the thing. Yeah, they have a stronger squad, but you see the, the evident weaknesses in their team when you go for challenging for a league. Hey, let's just agree to this. And older guard is... Tell me I'm fine. doing Arsenal. I'm twerking for Arsenal. No, nah, so. well, I got told that before. Like, but, like, we have to... Like, nah, even I'm for Tottenham, blood. How do I twerk for Tottenham by you saying do, they're top you of the league? You definitely do. You definitely do. How? Because they're top of the league. Man United and Tottenham have this affiliation because you both hate yeah. Arsenal. You're both yeah, just enemy, Yeah, enemy of <laughs> this guy, you know. It's, Ooh, it's football fucking... friends. Big man thing. Yeah. And it says you, Chelsea, uh, Lewis, who's always like, yeah, City this, City that. Mm. Mm. No, yeah, 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 dickhead. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, sure, man. I'm the only real one. It's not blood. Tottenham. It's not Tottenham. Yeah. I'm the only it's real one. I hate all of you pussies, blood. I hate all of you lot too. That's no, you don't. Yeah, there's you not enough Tottenham fans. How, how, how am? Wait, wait, wait. What have I said about Tottenham, guys? Why, so why you hate What haven't you said? Me? I said they're top of the league. Why you hate me? I they're louder. That is sure, Hassan. Man, you're not. Nice why you hate guy. me? They're just, they're just top of the league. That's all. It I is. beat Spurs in a Champions League final. You can walk the streets of London because of me. You can't hate me. Relax, there, buddy. <laughs> the other reason why you can walk in London. I have six Champions Leagues. I got my sixth against your hey, Arsenal. I don't give a that's shit. I hate all of you, bro. To me. Oh, I'm I don't give a you. shit. I, I hate all of you, blood. Hey, hey, hey. I, I hate that, Man United and Chelsea. I'm with you. That's why. I'm with you. I'm with you. I don't really yeah. hate Liverpool, but I don't like fanboy Liverpool. Uh, pun Liverpool. Yeah, I'm a fanboy in Arsenal. Bro. Me making a prediction that Arsenal are going to win the league. That's not me. Fanboy. Like, Flawless is a fanboy. How am I a yeah, fanboy by saying that, by saying I they're agree. top of the league? But yet you can say, oh, Arsenal are going to You win do league. too much prop for Spurs every time. Yeah, you're the leader. How, you're the leader of Spurs prop every time. And let me tell you something. On this show, on this show right here, you see this Back Again podcast? We don't have Back Again. Once, we don't. You understand? We don't have a... <laughs> <laughs> we don't... <laughs> I want the fuck up I done. <laughs> what have I done, blood? Like someone <laughs> clipped that shit. Oh my I days, like what have I done? Yeah, clip uh, that. Man said, you understand? No, we don't. <laughs> oh shit. Man, again. <laughs> man said it properly, you know. Man said, you understand? Oh my <laughs> days. When he I says like... it on the WhatsApp, I just read it like, yeah, you're going to say this. Mad fresh, blood. Man oh, dropped man. it like it was hot, blood. Oh.
بس يا استاذ يا لورد كلاس يو نو اتس فلاس وي دونت هاف سبيرز فان هير سو وين سبيرز داون فول بيجينز وير كوكينج يو اي هوب يو انديرستاند اوكي جاست كول اند ذا ثينج از اي بي لايك يس فور سبيرز اي بي لايك سبيرز اي وين سبيرز ار بيرفورمينج بولي اي ساي ذا بيرفورمينج بولي وين ذا بلاي نو نو وي دونت كم هير اند ساي اي بيرفورمينج بولي نو فاك ذات نو سبيرز اي وور يو وي تولد يو ذا اونلي بي ثري ريليجيشن سايد يو شود هاف ا توب اون ذا اذر سايد Why? Is, if I had a wall, I would. You know what I'm saying? I bet you fucking would. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking mad. idiot. Why are you mad at me? Because Spurs are top of the league. Why am I mad at you? Why are you mad at me? Why am I mad at you? Fucking idiot. You're a prick, blood. Nah, you're a prick, blood. Cut, man. <laughs> fucking idiot. Let's go through the fucking rest of the fucking fixtures, isn't it, blood? Yeah. You fucking wild. I got abused so much on this podcast. This is crazy. West Ham 2, <sighs> Newcastle 2. Um, Su- Suchek gave them the lead. Um, Isaac then equalized, made it 2 1. Fantastic ball in from Trippier. And then Amanda, I wanted Arsenal to go and put a move, uh, go and put a cheeky bid in for Mohamed Kudos with a banger of an equalizer blood. West Ham. They are flying along, doing their thing. Um, Wolves won. Aston Villa won. Who gave the fucking... Yeah, it was Hwan, didn't it? Yeah, Hwan gave um, Wolves the lead. Guy. Yeah, yeah, Korean, Korean guy. Shout out Pep, blood. That's why I was like, who is it, blood? I wanted. I was going to say Korean guy, but I let one of you not say it first, and I'll say it, blood. <laughs> and then uh, Pau Torres getting his first goal for Villa. Um, Una Emery getting a draw in the Midlands derby. I thought I predicted a draw for both of them games as well on last night. No, you know, you had West Ham. You beat, you had West Ham over New. I had a draw in it. Yeah. I had a draw in the in the Midlands derby. I think you had a draw in that one. I think you yeah, had, yeah, had yeah. Draw on you. yeah. Fuck, there were so many games today with draw. Us yeah, and yeah, Villa, yeah. yeah, and West Ham. Yeah, oh, the free only the, all the kickoffs, early kickoffs, Emmy, draws. Eight, Emmy, winning on Sunday ain't for everyone, blood. You get me. Um, hey, Luton, we, can we can make for everyone, but we moved. Yeah, bro. Luton nil, flawless one. Um, Did good work by yeah, good work by Madison. Um, yeah, Madison is a baller, man. I'm still pissed we didn't get him, man. He's a baller. Good work in the box there to get it to hey, you Van der Veen. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. Off, man. Thank you. Okay. Yo. <laughs> you man, see that Basuma dive? I'm yeah, that was that dive ahead was bad, on a I yellow, and him, you're doing that stupidness. Oh, I saw no. the whole game like it was terrible. It was a sin against football. It was only that one moment from Madison, and that was it. And then Flawless oh, so touched on it earlier as well. That that uh, that Adi Bola miss blood. Jesus yeah. Christ, bro! Why does he go with his right foot? Why don't he just go with his left? If he goes with his left, it's one one. Yana, I think he might have. Been, I think that chance might have been have dropped at nil nil. You know. Yeah, yeah, it was nil nil. Yeah, I think it was, think it was yeah, nil nil. Yeah, 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 Luton, Luton are barely a football team. They they look horrific. They look Most so pissed. bad in that game. So like barely any quality. I remember the first 30 minutes, I think they made nine completed passes to Tottenham's like 350 or something crazy like Jesus. that. It was <laughs> terrible. Hey, and then as soon as Tottenham went down to 10 men, all their quality and build-up play just faded. Mm-hmm. It was just stink off. That mm-hmm. one Madison moment was the difference and nothing else. I was, uh, I was on, on, on Lewis's stream when he was doing it. They were like the, the loot and watch along. Um, and bro, I was getting more pissed off and he was getting more pissed off with Luton because they had like a period of like four minutes where they had like two, three chances. And they just so many them. chances. Yeah. They just miss, 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 miss. Yeah, yeah. One of them is just so yeah. dead. Hi, Brian, no, but today, some but... of these chances, I would expect a League Two side to score, not Premier League. Like, Luton man. in front of goal were as shit as Tottenham's kit. That's how we're going to end it, blood. That's you a horrible yeah. kit. 100%. Well, Everton, well, yeah, blood. The shit is Tottenham. Look like them shit up, them blood clot. Everton free, Bournemouth nil. Um, goals from James Garner, Jack Harrison with probably goal of the weekend, bro. Who some even you gotta admit that was a fantastic finish from Jack Harrison outside hey, of the box. Same way you don't watch time. the game, I don't watch Everton highlights. I'm sorry. Hey, shout out Everton, man. I'm glad they got the win. 
بيجا هولد هاو ماني فريندز اوف فريندز بي فريندز يو يو I do like Evan though, yes. You're so fraudulent, I swear to God. How am I fraudulent? Because I like Evan. Evan so lucky this year because this was the one year where I'm like, Yeah, you that's all you say is look. No, where what they finish the table, speak, they deserve to be. Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, the floor is yours. Go on. Exactly. I'll give you 10 seconds, go on. Everton are very lucky because this season, Burnley, Sheffield and Luton exist. This is the one year where I was like, they could get relegated and then this happens. Yeah. Nine exactly. seconds, hold that. Told it you. Is. Well done, man. You did well. Appreciate it. Fulham three, Sheffield United one. Um, thoughts go out to Chris Basham. Firstly, um, that yeah. was that just really it, uh, it, it just made me remember Aaron Ramsey's injury, um, the Arby's injury, Eduardo's injury. Um, I've seen a lot of those leg breaks. Um, that one really looked like the Eduardo one because the way his foot was hanging was was just horrific and. Hopefully it's not a career-ending um, injury. We send our prayers over your way, blood. Yes. But big up my brother, Bobby, the Corba Reed. Beautiful finish to give Fulham the lead. My brother, fellow Jamaican. Um, Robinson, the little Yankee pussy old, own goal, um, gave Sheffield United a chance. But then um, my boy, Tom, He went for a shot, he slipped, but then the shots kind of looped over, hit the bar, got in off the goalkeeper, unlucky there. And then that pussy or Willian, he scored a banger in the 90th minute. Proper chance. And proper pussy or. And then finally, the deadest game of the weekend, Crystal Palace nil, Jeez. Nottingham Forest. Did I tell you? Well, I tell you, I told he's going to yeah. be a draw as well. As well. I told he's going to be some dead games. What was the score? You know, can, can, no, can no. No, no. Can, can, can I just yeah. I have to say this? I have to say this, okay? Collectively, you will, this is the first statement I make all pod that you will all agree with. Whoever the fuck is doing scheduling for the Premier League, fire him immediately. Yes. Me, this very second, fire that motherfucker <laughs> right now. Because they're giving us, on. I promise you, even last week it was worse. They're giving us all the good games in one day. Bro, I could have watched the Midlands. At the Bar same Bar time. Yeah, I could have watched West Ham Newcastle. I could have watched last like... weekend. Last weekend they put on one game on Sunday. Yeah, I remember. Give me one good game. Well. One. Yeah, one, one, one good game. Yeah. You know, I was forced to do United Brentford because there is no fucking good game. It's either. Hey, that or you Scott chose Bradley. to miss the Caicedo masterclass. That's on you. But you did see the Scott McTominay masterclass. So we, did we he did. miss out? We did. We did. Well, great, look sauceless instead. Same way we saw the different rice masterclass. <laughs> Hey, hey you know what I'm saying? And we've and we seen the Robertson Masterclass today. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Hey, no, the Masterclass in that game was Mo Salah. Behave. No, it was Robertson, man. Yeah. Duck it out the way. By the way, VAR yeah. robbed Salah of breaking a record because if the Diaz assist counted last week, he would have... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Where's the 15, violin, man? 15 no. games in a row of a goal. Yeah, where's the stand man? violin? It's violin, man, did it? Play the violin. 15 goals in a row. Here we are. How do you resist? How do you resist? Bro, Flawless and Lewis, Mo Salah scored more goals than your whole team is combined. Yeah, well done. You're going to do ah, that brilliant. to be second. Yeah, exactly. I'll say. Well done. Yeah, I'll say. Mo Salah yeah, probably got more years than your entire one billion yeah. pound squad. <laughs> Please. That's, allow that's, me, that's man. brilliant, man. What a back to back league title for Salah. He had more goals today than you had last week. What a back to back league title for him. When's the last time you've seen a back to back league title? <laughs> When you are five or six, of course, the whole time you were three years old, allow me, man. You're three years old. You're three years old. Talk about it. Hey, I still saw it. I still saw it. Did you ever see a team go back to back? You had to change your nappies. You're telling me. But but did you see it? Have you seen your team do it? Yeah, I saw it. I'll tell you how I saw it. Right now, the technology VR. Well, black and white. VR is dead. I wore VR glasses. I went to the stadium. And when we won three, back to back to back. Have you done back yeah. to back to back? Oh. Flawless has, I have, and Arsenal have. Have you got one? No. You know why? Because you got no well, history. Well, 110 well, years. Well, you were alive for it. 
Thank you very much. Are you alive for it? <laughs> yeah, I've seen more in my lifetime than you have, so it's all good. I don't Lewis, remember what I was London. alive for. That's all that Lewis, matters. You're in London, I'm in Jordan. I don't, I don't care about 50 years cheese. in the past. I care about what I've seen with my own two eyes. Internet is a great, great, great invention because Hussam and Lewis can talk. Same way you could go watch 1981 football. Amazing, can amazing. Can, can, you, can, can, you watch, can you watch for awful man. days? Yeah, yeah there's actually a site which has full-on fucking games from that era and shit. Oh, yeah, Liverpool fans have chimed into that. Subscribe for... Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, makes <laughs> sense. Why am I laughing? I'm being serious. That's true. Wait. Liverpool fans are definitely the highest subscribers. You're telling me 10 years from now, flawless. When your team goes 20 years without the title, you wouldn't go back to the 90s. Again, I, again, again. You, you, you taking the laughs. You're 100%. I'd sign up to that. You think I don't watch yeah, Premier League years now in the 90s? Yeah, yeah. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I don't so know. My team has to go for it first. He's great. And, and the 2000s as well. I'm all for it. I'm just saying for that, for the 80s, that's definitely Liverpool fans. That's, that's, that's the Scouts. Yeah, we need to put the headquarters in, in Liverpool. Right there Liverpool in Merseyside. Play, I can't lie to you. Liverpool played really good football even back in them days. It wasn't no cross and, and head shit. Like, it was actually good yeah, football. Yeah, it wasn't like clubs now. Now I hear you. you know what I'm saying first. <laughs> When's the last I'm time weird. you scored the header, you fucking weirdo? When's yeah, the last Tuesday, time? Nunes is terrible in the air, actually. Yeah, you're right still. Yeah, yeah, When's the last time we scored the header? Well, you are. You're crossing it. Trent, man. That's Trent's hey, career. Man, man, child, Trent, man. Man, gone, Habibi. Man, gone. It's low, no it's low, low, low like crosses, that. though. It's low crosses. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, low crosses. Low crosses. Then they're not headers, are they? Low crosses, yeah. that is entertaining. Yeah. Hey, here's what it is, isn't it? Enjoy, Speaking of entertaining, I hope Saliba takes Haaland out from his pocket. Cyborg, don't ever tell me that guy deserves Ballon d'Or over Messi. Have some fucking respect. Messi can control a football with his weak foot stronger than Haaland can do with his strong foot. With his foot, honestly, this guy is so pathetic today. The way I watched him, crap. Messi and Ballon d'Or winner. Let's go. <laughs> and with that bombshell, we're gonna wrap it up like a zuby blood. You get me? We got the man them every time, blood. You understand? Make sure you subscribe to the man them. Link is in the description, bio, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. It's day adult, you get me? So make sure you hit all of the man them's channels. Lewis Flawless, who some will link up, blood, you understand? Yeah. It's time for that shitty international break. God help everyone, you get me? God help everyone, you understand? But like I say, at the end of every episode, blood, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe and wash them fucking hands, blood. <laughs>